Oh, everybody, let me start opening the doors. And here comes Carl and here comes Vincent. Who's first? Who will be first? Who? Racing over. And it is Carl with a K who is first on the screen. Yeehaw. <laughs> here comes Richard Saunders. <laughs> Yeehaw. Your claim to fame. There's Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Number Hi. two, and then we are followed up by another continent, Richard Saunders. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, Susan? I'm just putting on a what, uh What continent are you from, Richard Saunders? <laughs> I'm from the Australian continent. He's in oh, Australian continent. Yes. Oh. Which is a big continent. Which is summer right well, now. Well, they're all big, aren't they? They're all big. You got to put in your most outrageous Australian accent, Richard. What? What do you want me to say? Oh, barley and, and like kangaroos and... What? <laughs> Where it, uh, it's Where early it? morning in there, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's uh, coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon. When I, oh, okay. Uh, afternoon. Cool. Yeah. And it's tomorrow. It's New Year's Eve. We have to stand on the head all the time, though, though. We do. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah. So in eleven hours it will be twenty twenty two. So should we just stay on that long? Eleven hours. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. God no. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's Kelly. <laughs> we'll just stay up and wish a happy New Year to the people in Australia. I remember Kelly. I used to see her every week. Yeah. I remember. Oh look, it there's a New Year baby. Who had a baby? I didn't have a baby. One of my friends is having a grandbaby on, on Saturday at 10 a.m. Really? <laughs> I'm like, Aww. you know, you're having a grandbaby at 10 a.m. on Saturday on the first. She's like, yeah, because they're doing a C-section. I remember when I had kids, we didn't even know what sex the child was going to be, let alone when they were to show up. That's when they were delivered by storks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm making an old age joke. Oh, Maybe they were delivered by that. dorks. I remember that. The storks came and, you know, they sometimes they worked and there was unions and dudes. In, in Susan's day, it wasn't storks, it was pterodactyls. <laughs> pterodactyl, oh, yeah. That's a little younger than I am. Is that Carl. where they got the term being stalked? Stork, stalk, stork. Stork, yeah. Stork, stork. Hey, Bob, what's this new baby up here? Who's got a baby? That's probably just a picture. A generic, oh my. happy new year, baby. Generic, yeah. You may, you may not have noticed. No. You know how I change them with the seasons and the holidays? Yeah. They're all me at different that's ah. you? You have a baby picture of you that young? Oh, man, yeah, I yeah, don't have a picture like that. Hospital. That's in the hospital. Look at that. I don't even have anything like that. I have those of my kids, but there's nothing of me like that. I was the third child, so I'm lucky I got pictures at all. I was the, <laughs> there was a boy and a girl before me, so the only pictures I got in were the ones where my siblings were in them, or I happened to run into the frame just as they were taking the picture. They just kind of lost interest when you showed up, huh? Yeah, they were old. Yeah, like, ah, was, been there, done that. Yeah, my dad was 45 when I was born, and my mom was a couple months shy of 40. So it was like, wow. oh, really? We're getting kids? <laughs> we're getting another one? Yay. Gotta be kidding. <laughs> Gotta be kidding. Oh, look at there's I, green Kirby. Oh, there's something weird walking across my lens. What was that? Oh, creepy. So you live that far south that you'll get a lot of bugs and stuff like that? No, I just all of a sudden saw something crawling across my screen. Oh, That's weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Kyle, look at Kyle. Hey, you guys. Kyle, Kyle rocks. He's got a, he was on one of those remodel shows. They remodeled his house and him and his wife. Oh my gosh, that was so cool to watch that. Hi, Brian Kirby. Hi, Brian. Kyle, how did you guys? Kyle, that was so cool. I watched your TV show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That was so like awesome. Your house is beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it was fun. How did you get picked? 
Um, it was all just kind of circumstances. Like uh, my wife does more of like she handles all of our real estate investments. So she follows all this stuff on Instagram and whatnot. And she just connected with some developer and they were looking for people and we applied and got in. Hmm. You guys, they have this 1920s home in uh, Southern California that is a um, Spanish style. And so 1920s, you know, oh my gosh. And uh, they'd had it four years and they had to pay for it, but they had a film crew came in and they, you know, did one of these like before and after and fix it and this. So interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh-huh. And fun. And you guys presented yourself really well. I loved I loved Linda's clothes. She looked very fashionable. And it's 100% phony, just like the psychics. <laughs> no, it isn't. Is any of it phony? No. No. <laughs> right? Go ahead, Shatter her illusion. Sorry, my, my network was lagging out. Do you guys have me back? Yeah, I, I hear you. I said, was it fake? Really? No. Oh, yeah. 100% phony. Um, I mean, like, you know, the budget was right, but like everything they said, we were just making them up on the spot. Like they were trying to <laughs> add drama to everything. Uh-huh. Like we did have asbestos in the kitchen floor that we weren't expecting. That was a problem, but it's like, okay, there's another $3,000 we didn't want to spend. <laughs> what are you going to do? It wasn't like, you know, but we hammed it up a little bit for the thing. And, um, you know, so it's a little bit phony. You can tell too, because the guys, the hosts, they'll do some demolition in a couple shots and they're wearing like super nice watches and stuff. Like yeah, guys didn't do any demolition. I'm like, I wouldn't be wearing those clothes if I was demoing anything. No, and then they walk out. The real reality show. Oh man. I'm, I'm bummed now to find right. out that, that was fake. Hey, Susan. Yes. <clears throat> My little app tells me that you had a little earth tremor. And all they did was open up some crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't know I did that. Hi, James. Hi, Brian Kirby. Hi, oh, Leonard. That, those aren't San Andreas brand crackers, are they? No. <laughs> there was no. a little bit of an earthquake in California um, somewhere. It says magnitude two. Oh, yeah. that's oh, like two. that's like me closing the that's door. Three, three, three times a day. Slams the door. <laughs> Let we me know when it's a four. Those. Let me know when it's over a four. Then I might like. <laughs> Red Cross gave me a uh, a tablet with the uh, that with that uh, earthquake app or natural disaster app. I thought, oh great, but it was going off thirty times a day, saying, "Oh my God, you know, earthquake." <laughs> and yeah, okay, one point <laughs> oh. You know, that doesn't mean anything. I I think there's a two when my eighteen pound cat jumps off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you doing looking at apps with with earthquakes on them for our area? That's weird. <laughs> we have Oxy Oxy Oh wow! Somebody's internet is not good. That must, that's um, that's Bob's thing. Hi, Avi. Um, okay. Kitty cat meow. You're not meowing very well at the moment, unfortunately. Nope. Unfortunately, Rob, Alan, Faith, Robin, and Adrian tonight. Bonjour, Avi. Oh, there's Adrian right there. That's good. I figured you knew you knew a little bit of French. What yeah. did you say? I said hi. <laughs> no, I didn't hear what you said. I didn't. What, what you oh, said? I said bonjour. Abby. Oh, bonjour. With a plant on his head. <laughs> there's Mark Edward come to visit. Oh, there's Mark. That's interesting. He's right here. That's funny. I'm going to have to brush up on my Polish a little bit because <clears throat> uh, we're going to have a uh, funeral service soon. Oh, for your for the, your uh, mom's for the, Yeah. Well, that hasn't happened yet, huh? No, it's taking kids taking a while it's gonna take a while it, yeah yeah it's there because he didn't have a will or any kind of directive or anything like that it's gonna take a while and didn't you say his his daughters live in poland yeah his daughters live in poland yeah so they got to get their ass over here too if they're gonna if they're coming here 
Oh, they, they won't be. No, it costs about $4,000 round trip to go from where they are. Ooh. So, yeah. And then with all the COVID restrictions and who knows what. That's yeah. Probably not a so they, they can't afford it. So we're going to have to take pictures and maybe a video and I'll try to get a video to them. And so of the funeral and it'll just be my mom and I, it'll be very small. Do you speak Polish? Oh, uh, no. So <laughs> I think it's a lot of brush. And up the <laughs> to, but they speak perfect English. Okay, then you're fine. Yes. Hi, Ellen. Oh, hi, you guys. Yeah. Your Hello, hair ben is looking Jordan. so much different, Jordan. Would you do different? Oh, hi, Henry. I see the other one over there. There's two, one on each side. He's got him. Yeah, he's a. He's a. He's right in between Thank the two. Look at that. <laughs> Where are you hiding? <laughs> She's going back and forth. Who wants to run the? Um, be my helper tonight. I could do it if you want. Okay. Bro. So, What you need to know is that I've got the sound turned off for the people entering the room. Um, so how easy is it to, when I'm doing my, 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 my round, how difficult is it? I'm mo most worried about getting from spot to spot and not being left in purgatory somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to make you a co-host right now, just so that you can see what the things look like. So now you're co-host. So you'll see there's some things that appear at the bottom of your screen now. It says breakout rooms. Yeah. Okay. So if you click on that, where it says breakout rooms. Um, see the first pictures from uh, the web? No, I haven't seen those. Those are out. Here, it's in the chat here. <laughs> Already? Okay, I'm going to make... I'm going to make two breakout rooms and I'm going to open them just so that Alan has the experience of knowing how to use this. So this is just for fun. I'm going to open the rooms. Okay, now you can see, Alan, that you've been asked to go to room one, but you also now have powers to be able to go from room to room. It says um, join. Join, so yeah. One, join. So try flipping around to room to room. So if I go to room one and... There you are. And wow, you're magically in room one. Yep, there's Brian. And Brian and everybody. Well, hello there. Okay, so then, so then, so when you wanna, then to get out of here. You and can then, hit the leave room button. A leave room button, which is where? In the far right corner. I see a bubble there. Uh, it should say leave right, room. Oh, wait, blue. you know what? Let me, let, me, let me put this on large here. Leave room. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you can leave your room. You can also go back to the breakout rooms. So leave breakout room. You can also go to where that icon at the very bottom. This is breakout room. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I guess he's gone. Uh, okay, let me see. Yeah, uh, you were that at, is the best. We my were favorite. Are you alive? My sugar free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugar um, fire. That's good. Oh, so oh all the sugar, sugar, fire? sugar fire. So yeah. it's even yeah. more sugar in it. Okay, Alan, so do you see that you can move around from room to room as you want, as you please? Uh, okay. All right. So, fire well, whatever. Uh, if I can do it, I'll do it. Okay, now what you want to do is... Are you also a root beer fan, Richard? When it's I love it. I, it's my favorite drink. And because I'll tell you in a little COVID, bit, because otherwise we, we can't we hear reasons. About root beer. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> Oh, here comes Janine. Oh, look at these people showing up. It's so nice to have them here. Well, they heard that I'm doing a round. That's why. I'm so excited. Oh, jeez. And, and Avi will be here for it. If he stays awake that long, yeah. It was only the second round. Yeah, I'll be here. He'll better be here. That is an extra screen door. I'm not seeing the other four people, so you might have to do five rounds, Alan. All right. Oh, where, where do I, um, when, when I'm done, where is it that I have to be to get back to the, um, if I'm wandering around from place to place to get right. back to the, uh, to the home base here, where do okay. I have to be? So what you want to do is when your round is, when you've done all your questions, you should go from round to round, room to room to room. Don't come to the room that I'm in. 
so much because the room I'm in is going to record. So you can watch it later, right? The discussion is happening in there, but it's really fun to watch the conversations from room to room. Be really careful that you don't give anything away because it's really hard not to. No, but then where do I need to be? To so get when, at, at the, when the way I'll go back. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to end up, it's not that big a deal anymore, but you want to kind of end up in the, your existing room, your real room, All right. room two. Your team. You want to, yeah, you want to be in your team's room whenever we close the rooms. All right. So um, you can close the rooms yourself, but what you want to be is the last breakout room you're in should be your team. All right. And you don't ever, <laughs> we found this out. If you're in your room, in your, in your breakout room, and you hit close, close all rooms, normally a countdown comes up. But if you leave your breakout room, they all close. So it could be 10 seconds, you know. So, so what we tell people to do is come back to the main room, which is where you're at right now, like you did, and then close rooms. Right. I like that you guys are learning how to, how to use Zoom. It, um, so I'm trying to give you more, uh, making you do more and more stuff. All right. So by the time we're done with this damn pandemic, you'll all be experts on Zoom. And then they'll change all the, the features and we don't know how to do anything again. But at least you will be able to say, I could use the whole one. It was so good at it. So I this don't will be think Alan's we're going to be done time. with this pandemic anytime soon. Oh, yeah, we hey, are. Richard, yeah, we are. Oh, Richard, Richard uh, powdered root beer. Oh, mm. not bad. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the, the carbonation, but it's it's not bad. I've got a machine oh. that makes carbonation. So I've actually got some of that stuff. You pour it in, like oh, it, you make it Kool Aid or whatever flavor you want. But they, I don't know, they does some in my stomach. I don't know why. I can't get it here in, in Sydney at the moment. My my stockist, which is the USA candy store, I used to go down and get cartons of my favorite root beer. They don't have it in at the moment, but it costs twenty five dollars for twelve cans. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Hi, Janine. Uh, what's in? What's I got all this stuff I used to not like root beer. on Facebook. But oh, that's not fantastic. Up yet. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, Janine, for changed. posting my Skeptic Camp information on your meetup page. I appreciate you doing that. Hint, hint, other people. <laughs> if share it around. Let's share. Hey, Su hey Susan, hey. When's, the, when's the date of that Skeptic Camp? August, oh, <laughs> January, January. And you're going to be doing a, a segment, so I hope you're there. Oh, It'll yeah. be your ninth. So it's on the eighth for you, is it? Mm -hmm. All right. Eighth for me. Hi, Faith. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm eating solid food. I had roast chicken for dinner tonight. It was wonderful. Wow. Hey, <laughs> come on, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hi, yeah. Jeff. Hi, Mike. Got the wrong Jeff. Peggy's got it two on each side, or or they look like something coming out of her shoulder. Wait, oh, Dad. <laughs> what? Look, uh, Jeff. Look at my dad. Oh wow! I thought you so. Got one? I was wondering about that. New chair, cool. Yeah. What do well, you actually, it's an old chair. I was at a customer, and they were going to throw it out because there was a little tear in it. And I said, I know that chair. So they said, you can have it. So I took it. It's not so I patched it up and I got a new chair. I think he didn't freak out a little bit when you said, I know that chair, did he? I love free chairs. <laughs> Are they that comfortable? Well, it's better than what I had. Is yeah. it, um, you guys are, it's, you guys got dex, Desta, so they're not standing chairs, right? I have a, right. I have a high stool. No, this is just a regular like office, office, uh, you know, that, that color pattern is not consistent with being an office chair. <laughs> it's a gaming chair, I think. Yeah, it looks yeah. like something that would have like a be something of that sort. Kelly, how are you doing with school? Are you almost done? When are they going to let you be done? So the semester is done, but next semester I have two classes and my capstone projects. So did you pick your capstone? I think so. I sent my advisor a proposal, so we'll see what happens. Can you give me a hint? Um, it's going to be possibly designing like a flu vaccine go. campaign um, and maybe partnering with like the university by me or 
the university I'm attending uh, to see if I can actually use it in the fall, but the, the project will just be designing it. Uh, wow, Kelly, I think you should um, design something like a, uh, a face, like a group of people who go around editing Wikipedia pages to um, put in, uh, add skeptical viewpoints. Science content, yeah. No one yeah. would believe that. Great idea. Yeah, nobody would believe that. That will never work. Not even mm -hmm. an online encyclopedia. Are you crazy? But just anybody can edit. No, no one would believe a group would get together for over a year just to look at silly psychic predictions. Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> crazy too. No, those people would have to be really desperate. Oh, they they would have. Oh, oh, I know. Nicole Kidman. I those people. God. Nicole Kidman. Hey, she was in um. Oh, she's in the Ricardo movie. They said she's really yeah. good. I just I watched it. that the other night with my parents. What would you think? It was really good. I didn't recognize her at first, though. My mom was like, oh. "Did you go to the theater or did you find it somewhere else?" No, it it's was streaming. on. Yeah, I don't remember whether it was Netflix or Prime. <laughs> it's on something. Oh, it's I can watch it. It's, it's, on, yeah, it's, yeah, on, it's Prime. on Prime. Prime. I'm adding myself a note because I wanted to see it and I missed it. That's very Lucy good. Lucy Show, pretty good. Yeah, I want to see that. Oh, I did see Nightmare Alley. You guys, that was amazing. What is very it? well done. All skeptics <coughs> that. It's it's very true to the book. See what? Ooh, Nightmare Alley. Oh, Nightmare Alley. Oh. Yeah, it was it was very true to the book. Uh, very dark. A lot of the lines from the book were there. Very, very dark. So is there a, is there a fish man in it? Guillermo del, del Toro he likes to do movies with fish men in them. There were things floating in jars. All right, <laughs> but that Dang. was that was true to the book. There's Adrian. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> boosted Adrian. What's it? You had your booster. Yeah, I'm oh, not you feeling did? great. Which one did you get? I got Moderna. They ran out of Pfizer. And what were your first two? Uh, Pfizer. They say Pfizer, Pfizer, Moderna might be one of the strongest ones. Yeah. Didn't I see today they're talking about making Johnson & Johnson a booster? It is. It is, yeah. But That's, like that would be... It's almost like the normal uh, Johnson & Johnson would should have been two in the first place. Yeah. Interesting. That's very... Have very... you started a trend? So... Benjamin's daughter also has the yeah. The Gordon's sprout. got her sprout on. The sprout. <laughs> yeah. We got sprouts coming out of everybody's head now. Yeah. I wish I wish you would make me smarter, but. <laughs> oh well, can't win them all. Your, it gives your cheeks a lovely color. It, it does give my cheeks a lovely color. It does, yeah. <laughs> Nice and red. Ooh. Come on, Jordan. It doesn't have the cheeks. I'm sure it, it just does. has a sprout. Uh, because probably no, because of her hair. Are you good? Come, yeah. Jordan. Come closer to the camera. Let me no, see. No, it, it does. Oh, there they no, are. There. Yeah. Sort of does. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see him, Jordan. Now I see him. Yeah. But it only goes to one person. It doesn't go to two people, huh? Does it get yeah, confused okay. like who's closest to the camera, I think? Or do you both get them? I don't think, I think so. think one at a time. No, yeah, only one at a time. Who's ever closest to the camera, probably. Yeah. yeah. I've had Troy steal some of my uh, my filters. Bob, will the chicken uh, get the, get the, <laughs> get the yeah. sprout? The chicken's closest to the camera. I don't think it recognized the chicken. Not anymore. No, the one closest to the camera in his lap. Oh, that one. Yeah, right. That one should get the sprout. It. it won't recognize it as a human face. Hi, Romero. You're right back. Are we almost ready? Let, let's, let's be honest. Most, most of the software stuff these days is bad enough at recognizing anyone other than a Caucasian white person as a person. I can't true? imagine it would figure a chicken's a person. <laughs> yeah, it's the, true. the dynamic range of uh, of the uh, skin tones. 
is uh, is a problem. Mm. We watched a documentary about that. Mm -hmm. In tones? No, about uh, facial recognition technology and how it mostly, when it first started, it mostly worked only for the white, the white skin tone, but they did add uh, more people of color, so they I mean, changed. It. It's all, it's all AI training, and a lot of it just has to do with the input data set, where the input yeah. data set is disproportionately Ooh. white mm -hmm. male. Yeah. And so, yeah. like, if with a broader data set, you get better, you definitely get broader results. Um, but it's a, you know, it like bias in input data sets to AI, of course, leads leads to bias in the output. So, yeah. you know, so you have to be really careful when training these kinds of models. And it's, it's just a, uh, a specific example of garbage in, garbage out. Yep, precisely. Okay, Deborah said she'll be here in a half an hour. Paula says she'll be here in five minutes. And Jim Newman's joining us tonight. Hey, he's actually, hey, he's been a while. He's actually technically more difficult to uh, uh, get information from a dark face that doesn't stand out from the background as well as a light face. Need greater contrast. Contrast. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. There is that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's really hard to course, photograph a black cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if, of course, you don't even they're have evil. Any, of in your, <laughs> you don't have any of them in your training, in your training set, then it's not going to make any difference. Mm -hmm. If you don't even try, it's certainly not going to work. Velvet is yeah. a very difficult color uh, material to photograph. Yeah. What kind of material? Velvet. Oh, velvet. velvet. Sure. We used to do a lot of that at Christmas time. We'd be photographing people who are um, wearing like burgundy dresses and stuff like that. And it, they always come out black and people would be like, well, why is my daughter's dress look black? It's burgundy. And you're like, because it's velvet. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hello. What's on your head, Jane? Lights. Oh, how cute. <laughs> the angle i was looking at you that angle it looks really weird look ivy has see ivy she's got real lights on her head <laughs> want to get me some <laughs> totally doesn't make your head look like a covid it does, I mean, do i look like a covid no you need you need one coming out in all directions <laughs> a spike protein winner yeah. of tonight's miss covid competition <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody had lots of friends testing positive that have been vaccinated in the yeah. last couple of days? <laughs> yep. Not yes. here. My uh, yeah. Guess what, everyone? I totally tested positive for COVID last week. You did I too? I tested yeah. positive on Tuesday. Fortunately, no way. Really? Oh, man. Fortunately, I was the triple vac, so I've had no symptoms. So I can go back to work tomorrow after sitting at home all week. Oh, my goodness. Hey, well, it's the best case scenario is to... Yeah, absolutely. I, I haven't... Um, we don't have any... Um, locally, I don't think I've had any. You, Leonard, over in this area? Karen? I, I know one person that was uh, vaxxed and boosted that... But tested do they live here in this in this area? <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. No, I don't, know, I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone in my social circle. <clears throat> Kelly, why did you why did you take the test to begin with? Um, my brother-in-law, who's unvaccinated, was positive. Um, so we all got tested, and I am the only one that he loved enough to give it to, apparently. Caring is caring. Yep. Yeah. How's, it, how's, it, how's it going for you at the moment? I'm fine. I, I was like a little achy this morning, but other than that, I haven't had any symptoms. So how about your brother-in-law? He's unvaccinated. How did it hit him? Um, he, I know his throat was bothering him, but I don't think he had any severe symptoms. No. Yeah. They just, they test us at work every week. So otherwise oh. I would have had no idea. I still haven't had a single test. <clears throat> when we were seeing like we you. Had test every other day. Mm -hmm. Has, has like everyone, has everyone seen this meme from, uh, my no. father has it. I have it. My sister has it. Yes. Just, everyone's going to have it. 
Yeah, we're waiting I'm to find out if my brother tested positive or not because he and his you girlfriend. Punch, Rob, I was just about to show that. And all of their kids have colds, and we spent Christmas mm. day with them. So I had it. My wife had it. My son, who's not vaccinated, does mm. not have it. But my other son, who's in the army, is vaccinated. Just got it the other day. Well, we found out my brother's girlfriend isn't vaccinated and she had COVID earlier in the year. And my mom was just like, uh, you decided to keep this a secret from us. And like, I'm not going to tell your dad because your dad's going to go fucking ballistic that we allowed her in the house. And there's two of her kids can't be vaccinated because of their age. So I'm hoping. <laughs> Everyone who I know personally has had it is a school teacher or a, yeah. a kid in school. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, that's, that's the same with me. It was, uh, everybody that I know who has had it, like either has a kid or has close contact with kids. Um, Interesting. Well, people, a lot who, of them are unvaccinated. People who work in the hospitality industry, um, as my son and, or my, and my daughter and her boyfriend both do. And, uh, it's kind of a dangerous occupation mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Well, right now in Calgary, they're saying that there, a lot of restaurants have limited hours because they can't get the staff because a lot of them are testing positive. Wow. Right. Today I went to a big uh, Five Guys, the hamburger place, and they have a sign out in front for $22 an hour starting. That is like wow. $2 less than I have ever made in my life. <laughs> I, I worked the same place for 34 years and I, and I, yeah, well, there's your problem. Yeah, I did that too. And that's not a way to make an increased salary. No, <laughs> it's crazy. But Sterling told me that he had, he has McDonald's app on his phone and he ordered something on his phone and he went and drove up in a little space to, mm -hmm. you know, paid for it and everything. And they never came out and brought his food. And then they noticed on the drive through somebody had written in with like pencil and cardboard that they're closed. Uh -oh. So oh. The McDonald's just closed down today up where he is and spoke um kind of near seattle no wow. no word no no nothing and and just like in a rush just mm -hmm. grabbed a piece of cardboard wrote on it we're closed and stuck it on the drive-thru i mean that's largely due to the giant winter storm that has been occurring in the pacific northwest over the past yeah. week like almost got snowed in in like at uh at my parents house um, when we visited them in Olympia, like we barely got out of there because we we drove back up on uh, Christmas night, and by the morning there was five inches on the ground, and like it had all frozen over and turned to ice. So basically, unpassable. So uh, maybe McDonald's was had the, was having problems with food delivery or something because that could be too, yeah. But yep. yeah. Sterling had no problem getting there. The weather was fine. The also, winter storm is happening in the Pacific Southwest too. I just want to point that hi, out. Paula. Yeah. Hello. Also, <laughs> again, like you said, people in the food it, service are more likely to get COVID because they're dealing with so many people. Right. So if they get COVID, they have to go. Even if they're not getting symptoms, they go home and sit for ten days. Mm -hmm. Five. Five now. CDC says it's five. Only if you're yeah. only if you have no symptoms. That's right. Mm -hmm. What, James? And if uh, you're vaccinated. We've had uh, over 100,000 uh, uh, homes and businesses in the uh, Tahoe and uh, Grass Valley area without any powers for like going on six days now. Ooh. Ooh. And some people, uh, pg &E said they probably won't have their power fully restored until about January 6th. Oh my gosh. Really? And Where are you, James? Uh, I'm in Sacramento. Oh, and he's talking about Tahoe. <laughs> yeah, well, t Grass Valley, which is... Uh, it's only like, uh how in the heck are they gonna stay warm? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of people have generators or um fireplace uh, stoves, uh, but they've had to they've opened a lot of shelters. And a lot of people are stuck in their homes, they can't get out because the roads are impassable. Mm -hmm. I mean it's a it's a disaster. The absolute record snowfall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of kind of think that maybe there should be some more money put into maybe the infrastructure of our of our country what do you think <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> or maybe corporations that, that's need the, to uh, yeah they should pay their fair share maybe <laughs> that's the uh whatever he says you know we got to spend more money on pg and to spend more money but guess who pays for that the rate payers uh and are you willing are we willing to 
pay that amount of money. I'm, I'm tremendous- willing to pay more to be able to have people not freeze in their homes. <laughs> uh, but the, the amount of cost is uh, astronomical. Well, it's astronomical if you have to fix everything all at once. Because right, and there's also other alternatives. Let's just get started on it, you know? Um, maintenance. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so it's, your sound is very low. Oh. So, also, so yeah. in slightly better news, Julie and I are going to be fostering a new set of kittens pretty soon. So oh, that's how you keep it warm. Camera. Yeah, that's, more kittens. That's Would how you, get you get keep warm. You time? get kittens. Mm-hmm. It definitely mind. warm your heart. Join with just showing the kittens. <gasps> Get those kittens on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Kitten cam. Oh, yeah. That's you what I should do. Fun. I should put the Skeptic Zone cats on more and say, you want these cats to be fed? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You want to let this cat oh, out of no. jail? Oh. I don't think that would go over well, Richard. But you could put a kitten cam. You might. You put a cam on them, and then I can. Them. I, I'll feed my kittens to the kangaroos if you don't. <laughs> see. Oh no! no. And the drop bears. Drop the bears. bears. What you do, Richard, is you have three or four different <laughs> approaches, and A B test them. Oh, there you go. Which ones do best? I could That's do fine. it with my cats. I could put like a camera on them all the time and make it like, you know, paper. Oh, you'll make money from the raccoons that visit. <laughs> I haven't had raccoons in a long time now. Leonard, my by the way, your, your like, volume is very low when you speak. He's only got like 15 microphones. Hello. Hello. Attention. Attention. Just Mike. Okay. So, Rob, you have a category first. Are you ready to go? Uh, I am. Okay. There you Alan, go. You're next. You are immortalized by my child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Whose picture is that? Oh, I'll live through that. That's nice. Is volume better. <laughs> Still a little quiet. A little <laughs> Alan, you're second. You're ready to go, right? Yep. Faith, you're third. Yep. Robin's not here, but she's fourth. I hope somebody knows. Somebody tells Robin she's she's got a round tonight. Adrian, you have bonus. <clears throat> Okay, everybody's ready to go. Let's start the. Is that Adrian that has bonus or Rob? Adrian has bonus. Well, now we're scared. No, I'm scared. So. <laughs> I have to it's ask. All about Canada again. I have, I have to ask. Canada uh, again? Well. <laughs> oh, Canada. So I have to ask, Adrian, is it about Hanukkah? Hanukkah. <laughs> oh. Did anybody else point that out that that was an interesting pronunciation? No, I've oh, never right. heard that. Yeah, he, she, I remember. I noticed that. I noticed that. Was that a Canadian pronunciation? Alan, how do you pronounce Hanukkah in, in Canada? I'm not in Canada. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say Hanukkah. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> it must be a West Coast pronunciation. Wow. Probably. It's like pasta or really? pasta, we say, right? It's, we although my Monica, dad pronounces pasta, pasta, pasta. Yeah, but I knew what she pasta. I knew what she meant, so I thought that's just the way that says that everybody knows what it means. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my wife who's Jewish just burst out laughing. <laughs> now in Chicago they add an e, an I to everything, like Holly Latke. It's obnoxious. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hate that. that, you know. Or Hanukkah is another way of Chachki, everything, everything's with an I. So how do you do well, that I, with I Hanukkah? Think- well, you don't. <laughs> I said Reiki, I don't Reiki wrong too. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, that one I hear a lot of a lot of people mispronounce. So that one. Well, it's one. made up anyway, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it? I, I is think it Reiki or Reiki? It, I think it's really spelt with an F at the front. <laughs> Fakey. 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 That's good. Hey, but Fakey. I felt pretty good. There was that woman who uh I had to say in the newsletter, and she was the one who gave up her career as a cancer researcher. No, it was a different woman. There was a doctor. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Evan from the SGU talked about her as well, and he said her name wrong. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going, okay, one, one each. I, I, it's so easy to yeah. say names that wrong or say also, things wrong. Uh, Richard, I believe last week you mentioned you, you pronounced kyle's name wrong you pronounced oh yeah 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 i heard that i heard that oh i'm sorry yeah i, I always I say probably it wrong. did yeah i'm sorry about i that. always say I, that I, um, 
I tell you why, because I was that that read took about two hours because you know you stop and start, and I was I was I had a I had a cold and I, my head was just miserable. So later on, when it went out, I thought that's not how it said. But, <laughs> so apologies all around. I probably made other errors along yeah, the way. I did the same to Leonard. Error. I knew how to pronounce his last name, but I still did it wrong. Oh, I didn't catch that. That was a, that was way back when I first started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, isn't your last name pronounced Polich? Uh, Polich, like a Polich. Polich itchy. Oh, Polich. I gotta remember that. Polich, Polich. Is itchy. I like that. Polich. I, I should know because I'm on, on, on his show before long, I think. Yeah, coming up pretty soon. Oh, so, Kyle, Kyle is Polich. That's correct. Polich. Polich. Okay. Yeah. I always have more trouble with the first name, Kylie. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Hispanic people have a trouble with it. Every time I go out to order in LA, I had to learn my name is Kile when I'm picking up. <laughs> Kile. Kile. Yeah, Kile. Yeah, Kile. Do you want to chime in? <laughs> Kile. I was never... wrong. How would you Kile from that? It's the I... phonetic pronunciation of each letter. Yeah. The K, the yeah. Y has an E sound, and the E has an A sound. I had a I had a German a German woman once asked me why my name isn't Steiner. I said, "What do you mean it's Steiner? It's S T E I N E R Steiner." She says, "No, in English, E I you pronounce E." And so I got really pissed. I said, "What are you telling me how to speak my own language?" She says, "Okay, tell me some other words." And I was realizing that E I actually normally is um, E pronounced <laughs> yeah. E. I think. Oh, interesting. But in German, it would be Steiner. Why would yeah, it's German... Steiner in in German? But she yeah. says you're not. But you know. In, in, in but I pronounce it's uh, you know not being the American way whatever. She was just flirting with you. Just leave her alone. Just <laughs> nice. You're sitting there arguing with Steve. her. Why are you arguing with her? She's trying to be nice to you. I think I'm gonna put Karen on your team. I think you need, I think that would be nice. Not that anybody Steve. knows who I'm talking about right now. Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna open up these rooms. Uh, room five. Five. Okay. No, Peggy, go for it. Peggy, 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 Peggy. Sorry. It's just. Oh, hi, Lori. Hey. hey. Oh, they just they just walked away just seconds ago. Let me put you in a room. Okay. They're in their rooms. Let me see. Where do I right. put you? I'll put you in three. Okay. Have fun. I'm late. Okay. That's all right. They just left like a second ago. Okay. Cool. Jimmy Newman. Jimmy. Jimmy Newman. Jimmy. Am I gonna put Jimmy? Let's put you in four. Hi, so Hello. good to see you, Jimmy. <laughs> Hello, that's my phone name. Well, change it. I, I'm fine. It's what my family calls me. I, I that just feels weird, Jimmy. Okay, <laughs> let me put you over here in this room. They just went away. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> that's that's the bit. Oh, I should just put this on mute. Otherwise, people watching me on the video are just gonna be like, what the heck? That's not very inter interesting. <laughs> and this is so interesting, I better start recording because um, um Carl told me that he that I I didn't do that right. And so I moved him into your room. 
So you got you lost Adrian, but you gained Carl. You gotta you gotta you gotta make that worth it, Carl. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> Who's kicking me now? Plus, because A A A V is only going to be around for like what what Avi. one one round? A V. A V. Speaking We're of mispronouncing them. names, yeah. Uh, two rounds. Sprout head. Two. Two rounds. I have to today. at least go to the second round. So my dad he has to be here for. Oh, okay. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's in doing a category. I it, I have an idea of the vaguely because, oh. but I don't know specifically what it is. Probably going to be. Well, easy you did it. tell me, Rob, that you probably aren't going to get any of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. He knows me well enough that I'm not going to get any of this. Right? <laughs> it's, it's not intentional, but it's just, that's what's good. British monarchy of the 16th century. <laughs> Damn it. It's Caspian. Speaking of British monarchy of the 16th century. Yeah, it made me all of a sudden of Caspian. Where in the heck is Caspian? And <laughs> that's not right. Ah. <sighs> Thirtieth today. Oh, I put last week is the thirtieth. Last week wasn't thirtieth. The others are taking their time. Well, Adrian just bounced into another room, so she probably was like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> did you see, Did you see my TikTok about word salad? Hey, no, so this is gonna have to be uh -uh. Well, for no, some I, reason, I, I have to get back on TikTok to watch your stuff because I, I was addicted to it when I first found it, and now I haven't looked at it. And like, it's on Instagram. Know, that's too. me too. Same thing. It's like you I was can't, like, you're spending too much time on it. You can't get away from I'm, it. I'm not watching well, it so much. For, for some reason, the, the the new one I did because I had to stop for three weeks because I, you know, I wasn't well, uh, not COVID, just a cold. Uh, the mm -hmm. new one I did about word salad a couple of days ago has got. Uh, 11,000 views already. Nice. Wow. Really? Serious? Wow. Yeah, it's weird how some, some just take off and some... Yeah, it's weird. So, so do you have a description anywhere, either in the video or, I don't know how that works, your profile, once you're watching one of those videos so people could know to find the Skeptic Zone? Yes. So people were yeah. probably looking at recipes for salad and they... There's a logo. That's right. right. I'm looking for a new salad. Let's type in salad. One of my team members in the Operation Grief Vampire group said, you know, we really need to be on Instagram and, and put stuff on there about grief vampires. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> That'd Richard, be nice. Over 1,100 views. Oh, not 11,000? But it's still a lot. Oh, it is. It's getting up there to more than more people than you would you actually meet in, uh, in a lifetime. So It's just so much work to run these things. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Let's go. I'm going to bring these people back. Oh, oh yes, goodness. I no saw way. that. I saw that. Yep. But will it last? Wow. I kind I of doubt it's going to last more than a. I read. I read another interesting thing that apparently the most single most commonly searched term on Bing is Google. Wow. <laughs> the only thing big people use Bing for is how to find Google. Oh, I never told you guys, I was I told you once because somebody was did something, a search engine trivia thing, and I said I have a Bing story and I never told it. So my wife's cousin uh, always throws a party at his Connecticut mansion in the summer before they sold it. And, and occasionally we would go, it was a, called the cousin's party. And we're sitting around chatting and, and he, Howie, is sitting there with us. And yeah. as one would in a normal conversation, this was about, I want to say, between Hold eight, on just a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not muted. eight and 10 years ago, we we're having some conversation. And I go, oh, well, yeah, of course, I would just Google it. And everyone got silent <laughs> because Howie was a vice president of Microsoft in charge of Bing. <laughs> I think you did tell the story. I've heard it. That's a good story. I like that. And I had no idea. I knew we worked for Microsoft. It's like, holy crap. 
Uh, I'm well, sure he's I am now that. more of a Bing fan than a Google fan because Google. Oh, he would Chrome, love you. Yeah, he would. Google Chrome has been, I don't know, I tried to get help for it, but my bookmarks keep disappearing. They're requesting weird things for me. So I'm just like, yeah, forget it. I'm going elsewhere. So I am, uh, my son gives me a hard time. You're using Bing? What's that? Thank <laughs> you so well, Mom. Chrome is well, a browser. Chrome yeah. and Google, as far as a search engine, are unrelated. Right. Yeah. You can yeah. use, uh, yeah. you can use uh, some other horrific uh, uh, yeah, browser you if you like. Yeah. You I see you've got the machine. Using Bing Bingo. to search for things is just ugh. I, yeah. Well, using still... Bing to search for things is meaningless because it mm -hmm. just goes to Yahoo. Uh, oh, Paula has a, Paula has a shirt that she wears. That has that sums this up well, right, Paula? What do I have? That shirt you wear with Internet Explorer. Oh, it's um, it's a takeoff of a uh, uh, Rick and Morty where uh, Rick made this little thing that its only purpose is to cut butter. And yep. he says, "And when the scene, what is my purpose?" And on the shirt, it's just uh, for the Internet Explorer to download Chrome. <laughs> that yeah. is your only purpose <laughs> i do remember back in the day when it was like a you know between internet explorer and netscape yep uh, i remember I those days time to... adrian i'm well, sorry i flung you from one room to another yeah that was so disconcerting i didn't know what happened to me <laughs> and me too i got flung too yeah oh. you did but you only got a little fling I, I see you have the machine to go. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Peggy's, gonna do, Peggy's gonna do uh, 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 a category because Robin's not gonna be here. So I said, "Oh gosh, I gotta put her in room ah, four. Okay. So I put Peggy in her room really quick, right after ah. she got in her other rooms. But it was like boom, boom. But Adrian, sorry, you were probably in mid sentence, which yep. makes me almost laugh. But. <laughs> Carl told me you don't have her in the right room. She's in, so I traded Carl with Adrian. Ah, sorry. Oh well. Makes like well, we had to we had to change have this to team name, power. Adrian, that we came uh, up with. Because I'm of sure that. you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you guys see Jimmy Newman is here today? Hi, Jimmy. Yeah. Where? Where? I don't see him. Newman. He's always yeah. doing trivia Newman. on Thursday nights. So it's Newman. Yes. Newman. Oh, he's on my second screen. Hello, Jimmy. Jimmy. There. <laughs> Captured in a That's final me net. on my second screen, too. There he is. My team is pretty lucky that they have me in there for Adrian's last. <laughs> <laughs> so they are so lucky. Hopefully, if it's Canadian related. <laughs> no pressure, Vincent. Well, you look adorable, and you are all color coordinated as well. <laughs> all right so i guess we're getting ready to start i've got everybody here is ready to go peggy thank you for volunteering at the last very last second i appreciate that to take sorry to the group problems. that'll be great okay so here we are on the 30th of 2021 i should have thought this out to think of something really eloquent to say about year 2021 and how there's nothing eloquent to say about yeah. okay. anything you, anything you really want to say about 2021 is not appropriate for a recorded, <laughs> for a recorded the, the, the netflix series which just dropped a few days ago when i saw it yesterday says it all death to 2021 hey it well, was better than, it was better than the sequel was no good either it was better than 2020 yes uh, Yes, you know, yes. I, I, no. I don't know. Right. When did January 6th happen? Let me think about that. No, no. it was really better. It was better because we didn't have a vaccine in 2020 for a Ooh. long time, and it was terrifying. Yeah. So I, I know you all know what I'm thinking about 2020 and 2021, and how 2021 should be a better year. But just it's just a date, so it doesn't really mean that anything is going to better. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if that's true, Susan. Thank you for uh, giving and, the lead. And I keep thinking, some somewhere along the line, if there was some way of it, 2021 or 2022 would say hold my beer you know i mean <laughs> it is called a, a 20... at my work so the catchphrase we're spreading is yabba dabba do 2022 yes i mean it, next mm -hmm. year is 2022 Two. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's the sequel oh, to like 2020 that, <laughs> so I'm so glad you guys have managed to make uh, to stay and hang out with us. We're on game number 87. 
Wow. Bro, we've never missed a Thursday. This has been really great. Season two, episode 30. So um, think of the most eloquent thing that I could possibly say. And that's what I said. So <laughs> just well said. <laughs> well said. Yeah. Thank yeah you. I feel like I just received Carl's birthday email. <laughs> i love carl's birthday email i do too yeah it, it kind of it's so impersonal it makes me feel good all right so <laughs> just to know i'm still here to have birthdays with i keep okay. wanting to write in a personal thank you but i never get around to it <laughs> that seems like it's too personal to just do that. think it just think it to him okay so here we are we are on the very last uh, trivia game of 2021 and that means really nothing actually but Thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you guys have a nice New Year's if you are going to do anything on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I, I'm putting together a trivia game probably coming up in the very early of January somewhere. It'll be a fundraiser one. It'll be on a Saturday or a Sunday or something like that. Or maybe I'll do two. I don't know. Anyway, so tonight we have Rob. Alan is doing his first round. And you guys... Um, all know what you're supposed to do when somebody's having their very first round. He's only been here like 50 games. Argue on the, argue we we have to be hypercritical. Hyper no, no, no. Super, super nice because he's going to find out how hard it is to put these categories <laughs> together with a bunch of skeptics who nitpick everything. Well, if we're really nice, he won't see how hard it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to be nice. The second time around, you can have Adam. And then we have Faith, who's done a few, uh, so you, you can let her have it. Too. Uh, Peggy is just dropped in at the last minute, so don't be too cruel to her. But Adrian, she's she, you can let her have it. And Rob, of course, <laughs> slam him as much as you want, you know, over and over. That's great, especially if I get it on video. So <laughs> that's how it works. So I'm going to give, uh, let's do the team names, and then let's go ahead and get started. So the first room which is Avi, Leonard, Saunders, Rob, and Carl. What is your team name? Yes, it's the Trivia Zone. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Put it in the chat, please. So that I can just copy and paste. And room number two, which is, oh, thank you. Yes, it's the Trivia Zone. That's good. So room number two, which is Alan, Jim Newman, Karen, and Kevin. And Paula. Paula and Jimmy. Wait, Paula's there? Yes. Don't you dare kick me out. <laughs> Don't you like, dare. I gotta see. Wait, wait. Alan, Jim. Wait, where's my rooms? Alan, Jim, Karen. I was there. Kevin, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, Kyle and Paula. How did the heck we get all you guys? Kyle and Paula. The LA contingent. Yes. Kyle yes. is in our room and our name is, it'll shortly be in the chat. What our name is, is this. If you suffer from moderate to severe polish, <gasps> you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> and I will add, call 1-800-SCRATCH-IT. <laughs> call 1-800-SCRATCH-IT. Okay, I gotta no. put that in. Here this is the complete name. <laughs> Forget the 800 number. <laughs> oh Kyle, do you feel like you're back in grammar school? <laughs> Can't make it fun of your name. At least seventh or eighth grade, not grammar school. <laughs> That's grammar school. That's great. It's a class action suit led by his wife. <laughs> That's actually, is there a different definition of grammar school? Because I went to a, a school where it was one to eight, and that was grammar school. No, uh, it's one to six it's in my mind. Six. Yeah. One to five yeah. in my area. Yeah, it's one, one to five. To and then middle school six to eight. Oh, so we didn't do that in New York City. You didn't have anything. In, 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 in LA, it was one to six, and then seven and eight was junior high, and then nine junior through twelve high. was high school. Yeah, we, we didn't call anything grammar school. It was elementary school. So exactly. no, we, elementary. we didn't learn no That's grammar. Really there, was no, there was no middle mine. school. There was no middle school though. It was right to high school. Mine, mine was three room, eight grades. So if you were in the fourth, mm. fifth, sixth, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, you were in the same room with the wow. same teacher wow. for all those years and then seventh and eighth you got to go to the big room was it that, Laura when, they, that when they had slates for chalk there on the prairie chalk on the slate on the prairie <laughs> we had paper 
We still had slates and chalk and stuff when I was in elementary school. We've so got chalk all over. Like, like for our desks and stuff. So it's, that was just like you, a, Avi, bringing your special chalk, insisting oh, on using it. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what it was. All right, so let's go on to our rooms. Yeah. Guess, okay. You guys are just having too much fun. In here. New York, they use the chalk for all the rooms. What? what? Okay, so room number three, oh. which is <clears throat> Faith, Jane, Janine, Kelly, and Lori. Who are you? Mine, oh, yeah, mine's more expensive. <laughs> mine's more exp That's got a story behind it. I'm <laughs> sure. Put that in the chat. Room. I will. <laughs> mine's more expensive. They were comparing. We were discussing <laughs> husbands. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a team full of women. That's even Susan, better. if that's Susan, is that team three? That's three. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the third, and I ended up not in that team. No, you're fourth. I'm fourth. Okay. Whew, you want to be in the expensive? I didn't piece. mess up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so room four is Rachel Ben Jordan, Richard Ben Jordan, Jeff, Peggy, Romero, and Vincent. Resolution free 2022. Oh, I like that. Is that your resolution? Excellent. My yep. resolution was always- You created to, resolution paradox. To write yep. the correct year on all the checks I filled out. <laughs> and now we don't do checks, so I don't- I was going to say, you still do checks? Oh, no. <laughs> but that yeah, used to be my I wrote a check all of last year. To get the right year on it. Okay. And that's what up anymore. <laughs> Adrian, Brian Kirby, Bob, James, and Mike Wolf. Um, for, Fortnite backup server disaster. Fortnite was there one? Yeah, yeah. It's, Fortnite was down for like six hours yesterday. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! How did you survive? Oh. I'd rather have gone without. That's heat. like Dunkin' Donuts being closed. Oh my gosh! We don't even have a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Can you that put it in the, in the chat, please? How many used to have a Dunkin' Donuts? So now I've got the breakout names named on these little things. Uh, you know, whenever it goes a breakout room, let's see if it holds. It's really odd because it'll go um, it'll go away sometimes and sometimes it stays. I don't understand what I'm doing right or wrong. Okay, so yeah, they're all there right now. So let's see. All right, so for the 30th of December of the of the year two one two oh two oh two one. <laughs> Game number 87, the start date. number two, episode 30, 30th de Diciembre 2021. We have, we have, yes, it's the skeptic, it's the trivia zone. Versus ah. Ah. Yes, it's the trivia zone. Da, na, 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 na. Versus, if you suffer from moderate to severe pollage, <laughs> may be entitled to compensation called 1 800 5 1 800 scratch it. <laughs> the 800 number was superfluous. I like it. I think it, I think it adds something. It's long already, might as well. And the versus mine's more expensive versus a resolution free 2020 versus Fortnite backup server disaster. At this moment, you were all even, you're all equal. So I'm more equal. <laughs> some are more equal than others and you're all at zero so think about it who's going to end up being the winner tonight it's really interesting to think of it that way because i like to look at these and think hmm, which is the team that might just do it and we can't we can't even know because the people who are leading the teams tonight which are rob and alan and faith and peggy and adrian could have the most bizarre categories in store for you guys that you will there will people who normally would think that they would be doing really well at trivia are going to suck tonight at trivia so <laughs> with that little bit said let me give rob his his special powers oh it has something to do with years possibly so great of rob <laughs> Yes, I was going to do a different a subject, but since I realized there's like a, a day left, or not even a day left if you're in Australia, I decided to do, what year is it? Ooh, that's good. Right now? 
So I win. Pretty more for me. <laughs> we all know that time is relative, and what we call the current year is arbitrary. According to the Gregorian calendar, the year about to end is 2021. Give me the current year according to various other calendars. Mm -hmm. oh, Somebody want to mute us? Yep. And and I'm, I'm being a little. Rob, unmute. Thank you, thank you. So uh, I'm being a little nice on you guys because I put them in descending order. So that, that might help a little tiny bit. Okay, question number one. According to the Holocene calendar, what is the year? The Holocene calendar was created in 1993 and is also known as the Holocene era or the human era, abbreviated the HE calendar. It places its start near the beginning of the Holocene geological epoch and the Neolithic revolution. This is when humans shifted from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to agriculture and fixed settlements. And one other piece of information is that the base point was picked so as to have minimal impact on Gregorian calendar dates. Do we get a plus or minus on these? That one, for self-explanatory reasons, once you'll hear the answer, no, you do not. Like plus or minus 10,000? No, the rest, the rest of them, you will get a plus or minus. That one is the only one I'm not giving a plus or minus. Do you, need the, month, do you need the month and day? No, what year was the question? What year is it? Right, number two. According to the Assyrian calendar, what is the year? This is a plus or minus 500, 500 years. So I'm giving you a thousand year spread. Syrians are an ethnic group indigenous to the Middle East. Some self-identify as Syriacs, Chaldreans, or Arameans. Modern Assyrians and Syriac Christians who claim descended from Assyria, one of the oldest civilizations on the world, date back to 2500 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. Plus That's or minus. BCE? Plus what? BCE. Mm. Before Christ? BC, well, uh, oh, we're just talking about BC and AD if I give dates like that, but I, th I don't think I actually do that again. According to the Hebrew calendar, what is the year? Plus or minus 500. Mm. I'm not going to define what Hebrews are. Hebrews? Question number four. According to the Chinese there calendar, else. what is the year? <laughs> I thought. Is it a Mitch McConnell? Question number five. Can we give that year in, in animals, Rob? <laughs> yeah, can we say what year it is? According no. To oh. I want numbers. Every one of these answers is a number with a, with a spread. Number five, according to the Korean or Dangun calendar, what is the year? Plus or minus 500. <laughs> Six, according to the Buddhist calendar, what is the year? Oh, my goodness. Seven, according to the Indian national calendar, also called the Shaka Sambat, if I pronounce that correctly, what is the year? That one's only plus or minus 200. Ooh, that's a hint. Question number eight, according to the Islamic calendar, what is the year? Plus or minus 100. Question number nine. According to the French Republican calendar, also, <laughs> also commonly called the French Revolutionary calendar, which oddly divides a month into three weeks of 10 days each, what is the year? And question number 10. Some people here have, might have a better shot at this one, just for nature of where they live. According to the British Regnal calendar, what is the year? Plus or minus two. And I'm going to give a bonus. So this is the only one that breaks the paradigm of the previous questions. Uh, in that it's not asking, it's not, it's not in, uh, it's not asking for a year of the calendar. It's going to ask for a time. Well, here we go. Anyway, bonus is using Gregorian calendar dating, meaning the current calendar. In 1582, that calendar was introduced to most parts of France, Italy, Portugal, Poland, and Spain. In what year was it adopted by most of the United States, Canada, and the UK? 
So that's actually not the big year it is, but what year was it on the Gregorian calendar? And I'm giving plus or minus 50 on that. Oh, good Lord. And Finally, Rob, a category I Rob's going to do that we don't have I them thought, all right. I thought Rob's bonus question was going to be what is the current star date? <laughs> don't give them ideas. Yeah, Rob usually gives us stuff that's like 10 out of 10. So this Yeah, well, too many people got 10 out of 10 and three of mine last yeah, week. Yeah, so I there think you this go. will be much better this way. I think All this right. is another lighthouse. So that, that last question implies that, you not, that the United States existed when it adopted it? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Hello, Deborah, by the way. I didn't know if anybody else joined. I can't see. Good job. Okay, Deborah. Well, okay, okay. So, do you mean the United States with the current constitution? Um, as a nation. Oh, look, there's Jamie yeah. Caspian. There were just British colonies before. So, yeah, I'll say, I'll say that. Us, uh, 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 Rob, don't give us any more hints because we don't need those hints. Oh, that one, no, I should. You but, don't yeah. need those hints. I did no, say you... USA, actually, wasn't the USA yet. So, we'll be clear on that. Well, that okay. just gave us a lot of hints. Yeah. That, like, near the. The Anglosphere of North America. How about that? Yes. And, and I don't think anyone minds. And the UK. <laughs> Hi, Caspian. We're wondering where you guys were. Acquiring food. Oh, cool. Okay. Any other questions? I think nope. uh, we'll have to give the, the room that uh, is going to have Caspian and Jamie are going to need to have the questions given to them again, I think. I, I want to know what Jane is doing. Jane is a is trying to become Jane. a COVID. She's oh. a spore. <laughs> Jane is waiting for you to join our room, Deborah. Deborah's going into room one. Ah! We don't. We only have four people. No, you got a lot. You you're getting more. Uh, mine's more expensive. That's going there. Deborah's going to go to. Yes, it's a trivia zone. Which is where I'm going. Within 500 years. Okay, I know nothing. Well, I will be right back. So I think, <laughs> so, I think that the Holocene calendar is an even 10,000 years. So it's um, 12,000, 20, what one. question was that? Number one. Number one. Oh, I see. What? Sorry. What do you think it is? So it's uh, one two zero two one. What? Okay. Um. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a clue. <laughs> Sorry, don't have a clue for number two. Two Assyrian. All right. Well, let's do the ones we have. <laughs> I got a cough too. This bloody cold. Let's do the ones we might have a clue. Um, Keep your calendar. I, I seem to recall from um, very from like a, a joke that I knew about Hebrew calendar and the Chinese calendar that the Chinese calendar was like a thousand years. Um, there was like uh a thousand years longer or so or no it was a thousand years less or something because i think the joke was that what did all the jews do for the that um go where did the Jew, all the jews eat for that time period when the chinese weren't around um so uh -huh. i think i would i would guess um like 40 48 71 yeah that that works so for number of... four Number four. Number four is what? Oh, 40, but for 4871. Uh, the only, like I said, like the only thing is just this joke that I learned years and years and years ago. Okay. Which I'm not. And it's, we know that's the most reliable source exactly. of, of information. Well, humor <laughs> is sticky, you know. Did I chop yeah, off it, question, question two? A lot of my history from uh, Black Adder. <laughs> a cunning plan. Uh, I can't see the chat. Can anyone see the, the last bit of question two? Because I think I might have cut it off when I was cut, cutting and posting. One of the oldest civilizations in. 
the world. in ancient Mesopotamia. Oh, I won't bother with that then. <laughs> Wait, oh, well, sorry. Oh, uh, the oldest civilization in the world, dating in back the world. to in the world, dating back to twenty five hundred BC in ancient Mesopotamia. Oh. All right, I'll leave. I just that's fine. We don't know anyway. Uh, according to it says Chinese, Korean, Buddhist, Indian. Uh, good Anyone have a clue for any of these? No. Um, is, is the French one they <laughs> used in the French colonies, like in Africa? No, I believe it was the when they were redefining everything, like the meter, oh. um, making the metric system. Yeah. They yeah. made a new calendar. Oh, but with I the 10 days each thing and all that? Yeah, with three 10-day weeks per month. Yeah. I remember, um, I think some teacher was kid was telling us about that. and like, oh, how silly was that or something? But I don't know what, what year they started it with, unless it was something to do with the French Revolution. Uh, yeah, I, I would guess they started <laughs> it the year of the revolution. Yeah. Or the year that it was over, maybe. Oh. Well, no, it would have been when they started. When they, when they started? Okay. Yeah. Well, that would depend, though. Where, was the, did the French um, uh, Repub uh, revolutionary people um, try to get, um, align themselves with one of the churches? Because if they did, then they might have wanted to keep the um, dating for Jesus' birthday. Mm. Well, then they wouldn't really they wouldn't have know. this question. They wouldn't need a calendar. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Well, it could have changed the, the dating, like, because, like, they could have, like, just recalculated everything. Because... Yeah, they, oh, they kept the same calendar, but recalculated it based on their new divisions of things. So there'd be, like, I don't know. I well, I it. guess usually You're the year... The guy. <laughs> so the, the, the French Revolution was roughly 230, 240 years ago. Oh, yeah. So then maybe 240. Well, 240 for mm -hmm. that, that one. Uh, but I have no idea if that's. Well, with, uh, I don't have a better guess. Sensible. I don't have anything. I've never Two... heard of the British <clears throat> renal calendar. Never heard of it. I put 250 for now. According to British. Uh, uh, well, I'll put 70 for that. It might Maybe. be the rain. Is that Oscar. one of those things where they date it, um, where it restarts with the with the coronation of each monarch? That's the assumption. That's the assumption. If it's the well, it's either the uh, secession or the coronation. But if it's when she took the throne, it's sixty nine years, seventy years next year. So uh, it's only a guess. I've never heard of this. Huh. <clears throat> Is or some elite? subject you turn out to be. Huh. <laughs> well, I know, I know, I know. You know, this, this, it's the year sixty nine. If we take it from the reign of the queen, but right. no one does that. Not <laughs> even the queen. It's probably I mean, just used for like um, official purposes or something like <laughs> ceremonial stuff. Or, or it's, categories. Or it's simply <laughs> not an outdated thing that nobody uses. I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out. Um, is the Islamic one like the same as the regular one, but like starting in, I don't know, Muhammad or something? Could be. Like, like the same months and everything. Oh, probably no. different names, but the same names. No, the, the, the no, name. it's a completely different construction. Really? Um, yeah, so both does, the Hebrew and the Islamic calendars are lunar. But the okay. Hebrew calendar is synchronized to the solar calendar by adding leap months. They oh. don't bother to do that in the Islamic calendar. Mm -hmm. So Ramadan can be any time of year. That's true. Depending on the year. That's true. Interesting. And that's so, why, because it's uh, strictly lunar. Did it start, though, in like 600 AD or whatever? Or does it actually start like at the same time? Don't, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Honestly, oh, no. I just don't know. Don't know any of these. I, just, I'm uh, gonna I, I have a, oh, I have a educated kind of half remember, half guess for the bonus. Uh -huh. I'm thinking roughly sometime 1750 ish. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah. It's as good as anything we got. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Chinese calendar. And that's that's the sum total of my contribution to this round. Okay. So how accurate are we on the Hebrew calendar? Because that does look kind of right from what I've heard. It's it's nope, correct I'm... within a decade or two, I think. Like well, I know the last digit's right. Yeah. Um, so the last I, digit matches. I I can tell you with 100 percent certainty that it, that is correct within plus or minus 500 years. Yeah. So <laughs> um that, that works. So we should we just guess on these others? Question five. Just Pick random yeah. number. Yeah. Marian. I bet it's close to the Chinese one. What? No? Well, well these are <laughs> these are descending order. <laughs> you have an R in that. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. here's what you do, Leonard. Get your cat to walk across the numeric keypad <laughs> of the keyboard. I, oh, I no longer I no longer have a cat. Oh no. Oh, oh Richard oh. can do it. We can have Maud do it for us. Mine are sleeping. Sorry. So there we are. Look, we're getting answers. Everywhere. Number. Uh, but there are in number descending. Decreasing, descending order. Decreasing. So that oh, one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Descending order. For the bonus. So. So number eight needs to be smaller. Yeah. Somewhere between there, like six hundred and something. It, it needs a digitectomy. Digitectomy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it can't be 862. If no. you okay, there that we go. That's better. Why can't it be 862? Because it'd be because 835 than, was oh, previous. It could right. be 862. 835. Yes, sorry. Right. Yes. <laughs> Assuming. Yeah. Okay. What about number two? <laughs> Something between 120,000 and 5,000. <laughs> Something between 12,000 and that's enough. Yeah. That's sorry, that's actually too small. Yeah. I would guess. Um, well, that's too big. Seven thousand. Wait, when we'll, we will help to look. Uh, there was a um, date in the question. Um, yeah, that was 20, 25, What was it? Twenty five hundred or something. Yeah, twenty five hundred BC. So four thousand something. Okay, so oh. that doesn't really help too much. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, seven thousand is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found our new lighthouse. Just like yeah. closing your eyes and throwing darts. Well, yeah. what were the average <laughs> scores for <coughs> for lighthouse? Uh, I can't remember. Two. Or yeah, not, like not much. Not much. Yeah, and yeah, this may be close. Yeah, I think a lighthouse. I think, this might, I think we might get like an average score of a little bit higher. Maybe like an average score of three. <laughs> a Did little bit. Really high. think so? Just a little. Because it seemed like some of these we were able to like just kind of work out. Some of them were educated. We, we don't, yeah, we, we don't worked them out. Right. Whether or not they're right is another question. That's another <laughs> question. Yes. Well, it's good. I, I, I'm happy to have something that is not where everybody's going to leave coming out with a ten. That is always boring. Everybody's a winner. But think how smart they feel. Until they come out and find out everybody else got them. Right. To me, it's more important to have fun. I'm so having I fun. Take, That's I'm nice. it. It's cold at your place, Susan? I'm always cold. It yep. is no, no, it's cold. not that cold. It's not that cold. It's, it's just like in I'm the upper 30s to mid 40s at night. Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, my house it is. 46 right now. Yep. Well, 46 for me 40s. too. Yeah. 48 we'll now. See. Just look. Well, I got right now. Let's go see what my thermometer is. It's Minus two Celsius right now. Here. It's 28 here at the moment. So it's warmer there. Yeah, it's 46. It's almost, here almost like the seasons are reversed. Almost. Oh, <laughs> almost. Yeah. What's up with that? So you can imagine with our numbers exploding to <clears throat> doubling overnight in now in over 21,000 that uh, New Year's Eve parties have been canceled left, right, and center. Oh, why, yeah. is this giving, why is my computer telling me by default the temperature in San Diego, California? I don't know. Because it knows that's where you really want to be. 
Are you guys done? Yeah, we're done. Keeps the heck out of where you yeah. are. Most of the teams are back. We have numbers. We have numbers and spots. We have rectally inspired numbers. Perfect. All right. We'll and see you back in the big room. Okay. All right. Good job, team. Yay. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> for the very last thing. We'll see, Adrian, what kind of okay. kind of thing you have there. Holy moly. I'm curious. <laughs> very curious. I'm scared. Planes, trains, and automobiles. No. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh. He's got bonus, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could be anything. It could be anything, yep. So I, be I, I, ac I accidentally pressed uh, leave the meeting instead of the room there, yeah, Susan. I, I don't know if you need to put me back in a, a room again. Have... No, I did yeah. write as, write as, right? Well, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Where's everybody at? I've done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll call it Moderna brain. <laughs> Better than uh, accidentally <laughs> bought removing a person from the group entirely and then they can't come in for the entire session. All right, all right. That was like a year ago. I was me. I was talking about me. I was... Oh, that was me. I, I blocked uh, Brandy from the room. But thanks for Susan, did you, put, did you push the button? I didn't push the button. I pushed the button. Oh, they're, they're not like half done. They're going to want more time. What? Not half done. Everyone else is done. Suck it up. They only get so much time. Before they had come up with another mm. calendar. <laughs> yeah, for real. We don't want the green to be. Speaking of calendars, you can download your 2022 Maynard calendar from <laughs> maynard.com.au. Oh, there you go. Yes, spend the, the year with Maynard. <laughs> that would be interesting oh it is i can think of many people that i would uh be more reluctant to spend the year with than Maynard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all you should see his house it's like him you know you imagine how crazy and wacky maynard is his house is just like that it's just unbelievable oh boy like kenny bibbles probably yeah. <laughs> so is everybody back? Last time apparently you left people there, didn't realize that. Everyone that isn't back, please raise your hand. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Avi. <laughs> Can you tell from the breakout room list, Susan? Hmm? Can you tell if everyone's back from the breakout yeah, room? Yeah, they're all back. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, everybody ready? I guess. <laughs> okay, so question number one. So I'm going to post the answers after I read these all because too much cutting and pasting. Um, well, actually, what I'll do is I'll paste the exact answer. I, I also have Excel figure out for me the range to get the minimum and the maximum, but that'll be a pain to paste. Um, so I will give you, I'll paste the exact answer and then I'll I'll speak the, uh, the range, the range. If that works. Okay, so for the first one, this one you just had to know, and I was in two groups and they figured it out or knew it. And it's to add 10,000 years to the current date. So it is 12,021 right now. Well done, Kyle. Yay. Good Leonard. That was, a, hey, that was a good clue you gave. Mm -hmm. Well, there we are, team. We've got one. So, Susan, uh -oh. we can go home. Adding, adding a thousand so far. Stop the count. That, okay. Yeah. Stop the count. <laughs> so, so, because I gave you the hint that these are in descending order, if you knew that, that kind of pegs the rest of them, at least for some reasonable range. Okay. So, in a plus or minus 500 range, according to the Assyrian calendar, what year it is. And some people were trying to work that out. I don't know if anyone got this, but it is 6771. Wow. And that, 67 what? 6771. So the range is 6271 to 7271. Totally forgot that you said that they were in descending order. Uh, you, everybody in your room forgot that? Yep. No, oh. we, we knew it. 
I did more. Ah, oh, that's bad. Stop I did, the first, camp. first thing I wrote down. Stop the camp. I, I did more than say it. I actually, it I, did, I just rolled up to the chat. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Yeah. 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 We remember. Yeah. It's the a numbers are in defending order. Yep. Number three, according to the Hebrew calendar, some people probably just knew this one. It is 5782. Oh, you're oh. close. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Mike. Aaron, wow. No, it's not. 781. Yeah. What, what, what? It's 81. All right. Plus or minus 500. Yeah, it's a little awkward to look at the, the, the script because it has two numbers because it's about to turn over the, our year and it doesn't actually match. So some of these might be off by one, but the range was plus or minus 500. So right. 5282 to 6282. What about Australia? So wait, is the range 500 or 501? Uh, 500. <laughs> Take 501 if you got it that close. <laughs> Number four. Plus minus 500 plus or minus one. The Chinese calendar. This is 4719. That's 4219 to 5219. I guess that joke that I remembered well, was oh, it helps. I think no, I saw the same joke on the internet. And, Sorry, and tell us the plus or minus with each answer. Please. Yeah, can you, can you tell us the plus or minus when you type it in, Rod? Because I'm trying to look at mine and think. Yeah, 4719 is 4219 to 5219. You're just saying numbers at me. Can you type them into the chat, please? <laughs> Don't make you work. <laughs> people, people are volunteers. Don't give them Thank you. Heart. Does that relate to question four? Yes, that's four. I told you to give Rob as much shit as you want. <clears throat> Can we Can just spell it out like one? <laughs> There's no commas in these, words, Rob. I don't understand. No, no, we, we, don't put, we don't put numerals. We don't put commas and dates. Numerals, please. No, no, no commas and dates. Did we write 2021 with a comma? No. Until you get to the extra digits, then we'll do it. Uh, we don't question. do commas in Canada at all. At all. Yeah, a lot of places don't. It's weird. Yeah. Question number five, the Korean or Dangun calendar, which is somewhat connected to, it turns out, the Chinese calendar. So it is 4354. And the spread on that, it turns out I can paste double numbers from Excel. That's cool. There's a spread on that. Holy cow. Oh, we nearly got it. Oh, well. Number six, the Buddhist calendar <laughs> is... 2562. And since I gave you a 500 on that, the spread is that. Back wow. in it. Oh, the first one. Any, wrong. Anybody got that? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, not, yes. not, ex yes. not, exact, not exactly, but in the range. Yep. Cool. Question number seven, which is the Indian national calendar. Never heard of such a thing. This is only plus or minus 200. But it's 1943. Ooh, that's pretty awful. 1943. It's a bad movie. And there's yeah. the range for that one. <laughs> I don't want to be back in 1943 again. I think you need a space between your range. Again? <laughs> again? Okay, the... so they just started, they just started it on independence? About? <laughs> yes. And okay. the Islamic calendar, which people might have been able to figure this out from uh, the whole uh, Quran uh, Islam thing and Muhammad is a 1443 Ooh, and the range on that gives you these two numbers 1343 to 1543 yay all right uh the uh french republican calendar or revolutionary calendar there should have been a little hint there uh -huh. people know when that was that is 230 Oops. <laughs> all right with the, the time with, the, with the range the 05 to 55 why 230 oh we got that yay what? Well, you should ask that team because they got it. <laughs> because that was the year that they uh, the adopted the calendar. The revolution. So yeah. I guess. Yeah. the revolution began yeah. in 89 and, and culminated in oh, 99, of 1799. So this one, maybe Richard got this. I don't know. I never heard of these things before. I've never but heard yes. of these things. Wow. So, so they actually have an official government calendar that keeps the calendar depending who the reigning monarch is. And it's 70 Elizabeth II. What? It's 60. Oh my god. We got that. We got that. It's, we got 60, it. 68, 72. Give it the range. Well, so, yeah. it's, we missed it by. Did you say 69? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's questionable when you read it whether it should be. And I'm not clear on it. So 
Uh, yeah, she exactly. she has not rained for 70 years. That's next. But year. the problem is the first year is number one. It's not zero. So it's like a weird thing, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> and the bonus, which is interesting because I typed, I, I copied this from, it might have been Wikipedia or it might not have been, but it did say USA and clearly it can't be the USA from the date. It's 1752. Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah, so, we didn't get got it, got it we within got it. the 1702 to 1802 period. is the range I gave you. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so as with most things with numerical systems, uh, the US is behind uh, Europe. So there you go. Gee, we, quite we quite a bit, quite exactly. a number of years. We can blame England. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's so it. So we got 11, right, Richard? We did. Uh, <laughs> no, <awesome>. we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> We I'm did surprised about this. Everybody, well, we got 11 plus one minus 11. four or five. <laughs> I was really hoping that we would have something to, to beat lighthouses and punch and duty. It doesn't sound like we're going to have it. It turned out to be a good category. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. help. Okay, so yes, it's the trivia zone. We, <laughs> we seven. Yeah. Seven. Wow. Seven. I'm impressed. I didn't have anything to do with it except seven. Watch yeah. them. Well, that that's that's what I've, uh, we. I'm sure that that's right. I mean, we got more than I would have thought, but we got it within the range. We did which well. one? Which ones did you say we missed? Oh, I can't tell you that now. I, I'd have to go back and look look at them all. I just simply do you think we got, got more, Carl? No, I think we got seven. No, I Carl we had more, but. Okay. Let's we we can we can revisit that yeah. in, in the next yeah, yeah. round and, and let Susan. So know if, it if you is. suffer from moderate to severe pollage, you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, nope. Call okay. call one eight hundred. Scratch it. Seven 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 seven. That's the number you want to call. <laughs> uh, <amen. laughs> right some people were inherited here that's that. actually a lawyer's number in my area all seven <laughs> so how many points did you get seven. Oh. <laughs> okay. you're, quick. you're really quick got you susan i'm really fast yeah let me tell you i can't even blame anything i can't even say i just got my boat my covid shot or anything romero's got a lighthouse up because he thinks it's a lighthouse moment um mine's mine's more expensive Six. Okay. A resolution free 2022. Also seven. Wow. <clears throat> Fortnite backup server disaster. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. Well, you know what happened is mine's more expensive is went in with one number less in case we get another player on the team to come over here. You know, you gotta think these things through. <clears throat> All right, good job. Seven, seven, six, seven, eight. It's the phone number. So, not a lighthouse nor punch and Judy. I think oh. we have eight, Rob. Well, we tell Susan. First one, one, two, three, four, six, nine, ten, and the bonus. Can I get a backup on that? Well, what? Not right now. I'm, I'm working okay. on it. So, get back we'll to me and we'll move on, on to the next category. We'll yeah. work that out. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Okay, so you, plus or minus one. Just just put a little asterisk next <laughs> to it. Plus or minus one. <laughs> did, did everybody get the Holocene one, by the way? The, the, 12, one, the first one, yeah. We got it. Yeah, we got it. I had that calendar up at my desk at work for three years in a row. I love that calendar. <laughs> it's a nice conversation starter. Does, does Hallmark <laughs> make one of them make that? No, no. What One company, which has got a mm, German name. Carl might know it. I forget. Steiner. Also, this year's a palindrome in the Hollis and Gun. Mm, That's right. I noticed it. that. Good right. call, Jeff. Okay, Alan. No pressure. You're up. Okay. Um, so I think for lack of anything better here, we'll call we'll call this general music related stuff. Now I intentionally I I I I've thrown put these these questions past a bunch of different people who are non-musicians. I wanted to make them simple enough that people could get good scores and even Rob could answer a couple of these. <laughs> so so uh, here we go. Uh, let me right, let, have to let, bear with uh, you. I'm going to mute everyone, Alan. Hmm? 
He's gonna mute us. I'm gonna mute everyone. Then you'll need to unmute yourself. You need to unmute yourself. Does he need to unmute, unmute okay. himself? Yeah. yeah. I called it, you guys. I did say it's gonna be music related. That's kind of generic, but you know, we know Alan. Oh, that was really difficult for you to know that. I know. I sound like I'm psychic or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one. Uh, let me make sure that's a question and not an answer. Okay. So, um, this well known 19th century Czech composer wrote some of his most famous music while totally deaf. That's number one. Tech. Um, okay. Leonard Bernstein was commissioned to write his Chichester songs for the 1965 Southern Cathedral's festival held at Chichester Cathedral in England. It is composed for boy soprano, chorus and orchestra. It's based on the psalm, some psalms from the Book of Psalms. In what language is it written and performed? Mm -hmm. Is that, is that Bernstein or Beierstein bears? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, only a couple people will know it. It's a Bernstein, yeah. not and also it's Bernstein and not Bernstein. It's a it's a it's a Mandela, <laughs> Mandela effect. Mandela effect. So they went over most people's heads. Sorry, but I had a little giggle. I got okay. it. I got it. Also, thank you guys. What New York City cultural landmark was built over the location where the original? West Side Story movie was filmed. Oh. Oops. Sorry, I'm a little slow here. That's okay. Let me make okay, sure. Thanks. Hopefully, I just. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote two pieces for glass harmonica. What American invented this instrument? I know that one. Yes. It's either Mr. Glass or Mr. Harmonica. <laughs> yeah. Could be Ira Glass. Could be a female. Yeah. I was going to make that joke, Kyle. Joseph Goebbels banned Beethoven's Fifth mm -hmm. Symphony during World War II. Why? Ooh. Okay. Number two. Okay. It's George Gershwin wrote only one full opera. What was it? The movie 10 and actress Bo Derek are closely associated with this piece written by French composer Maurice Ravel. <laughs> what is it? Somebody's not muted. Mute.
Gustav Mahler's first symphony was introduced to American audiences on December 16th, 1909. The New York, oh, I don't have the whole thing here, damn it. Hang on, let me, um, let me get the rest of it. All right, I'm 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 doing this one. I'm doing this one again here. Come here. Okay, number eight again. Gustav Mahler's first symphony was introduced to American audiences on December sixteenth, nineteen oh nine. The New York Philharmonic was conducted by their then musical director. What was his name? All right. Um, This relatively brilliant person was arguably the best known amateur violinist of the 20th century. And no, it was not Jack Benny. All right, that's what nine and let's see, let's do this. Um, New York's Carnegie Hall was opened May 5th, 1891. What famous Eastern European composer conductor conducted one of his own pieces, March, March Solonel, at the inaugural concert? And there you have it. Those look great. You did a good job, Alan. Thank you. Very good. And you correctly predicted uh, correctly about me, Susan. <laughs> what was that? You, you predicted correctly about me, your psychic powers work. I don't know any of them. <laughs> well, I know well, I tried, I tried, I, I, I tried to, to word them uh, so they weren't, some of these weren't as obscure as that I could have made them. So, cause I, I want people to score, so. Yeah. And an update to our score, it is indeed eight. I just spent some time recalculating oh, it. Oh, is that yeah, what that number was? Thank I, you. I thought you yeah. could hear my cat purring over here and she, uh, Sounds like she's got a Richter scale of eight earthquake wise. <laughs> Call her Adrian. I mean, Call her Adrian. Ariadne. Do you want to your heart, My music history professor oh, yeah. is so disappointed in me. Your music professor is going to be disappointed? I took. Well, honestly, I think some history. of these, you guys, I, I word them. I think you can, you may be able to, with a team, you may be able to figure them out. Yeah. I'm with you, Kelly. I'm with you, Kelly. So let's go into the rooms and we'll figure that out. So right. Alan, right. why didn't you send us to our rooms? So go down to- well, Go to your room. No, okay. go go to the breakout. Here we go, I'll do it. Uh, open all no, rooms. Let, let, yeah. yeah. Let, open let all rooms. Do it. I want to learn how to do this. Okay. Very good. Did I do it? Yeah. Or somebody did. Well, I, I clicked on globe. All right. You did it. Do not say, I'm in the wrong room, Susan. Well, don't come here. I'm in the wrong room. Help us the out. The answers are A, B, C, F, G. <laughs> Rob, leave the room. Can you you can do a send me to the other room, right? Do that directly. Let me ask the leave. If we move Robert to room one, right? You're not, you're muted. There you go. Thank you. Enhance things. <laughs> okay, Susan's back. Okay. Okay, so it's not Beethoven, right? Because he's not Jack. I only know three of these. I hope someone is more music. I know two, and I, hopefully they're not the ones you know. <laughs> um, can we go right. through and quickly get some answers and then come back and dig in where we're not well, sure? Where's Ben Franklin? Yeah, that's a, that one's correct. Yeah. yeah, the harmonica has been Franklin. Unfortunately, yeah. that's the one is uh, Porgy and Bess. Por Damn yep. it! You know the same <laughs> ones I do. That's not helpful. Seven is Bolero. Yeah. Ten is Tchaikovsky. 
Okay, I'm just going to go get something to eat or something. (laughs) You guys have fun with this. The other ones I'll have to like, we'll have to. Okay, and I know number three. It's the Lincoln Center. Ooh. And number two is Hebrew. Oh. Well, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I think I'm pretty sure it's Hebrew. Not Aramaic. Put a question mark. <laughs> Put a question mark there. Thanks. A Czech composer. I mean, the only Czech composer I know is Mahler, but there's a Mahler question later. I never heard of him. I've heard of Mahler. Yeah. So why did Goebbels ban Beethoven's fifth century? Because he was an asshole. Yeah, but why I feel not? like that's a fair answer, yeah. <laughs> uh, wasn't it because the, he was against Jewish people and there was some Jewish people there playing? Jewish. He was anti- but that that wouldn't explain why he banned the symphony from being played ever. Hmm. Um, it's related to the war for sure. How does the Beethoven's Fifth Symphony go? Is it how does that start? Is it the one that goes? Dun 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 dun. Does it doesn't it mean deaths at the door? Deaths at the door. If it does, you know more about it than me. Well, I got that from a movie that um oh John Voigt was in a movie where he was a school teacher and he was teaching these African kids and he was telling them that it's deaths at the door, something like that. But I don't know if it's go true. Bells and ass. Go bells and ass, go bells and ass, go bells and ass. <laughs> I can't think of what in, unless it has something to do with Jewish. Uh, I, I with thought it was because oh, that's I thought it was because he didn't want the Jewish people who were there were Jewish people who were playing the song and he didn't want to, he was, he was against the Jews. I yeah, think that falls under that was an asshole. Was there a beat the between right Beethoven answer. and Wagner or something? No, no. they're too temporally separated. Okay. And, and also, and also why specifically that song and not just generically Beethoven. Right. He didn't like prime numbers. <laughs> was there is there an instrument used in beethoven's fifth that isn't used in some of the other songs no all of them was it being used as like uh the people who were anti-nazi were they using it like as a slogan song or something like let's go brandon or something you know like a <laughs> like if you heard people in the streets go da, 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 then the Nazis knew that they were deaths at the door. Kind of, well, okay, let's go with deaths at the door. Why not? We'll come back to sound it. right. We can come I back. Think to it's, it. Let's get an answer for every question. The number go. one is Beethoven, isn't it? No, because Beethoven. I don't think he was nineteenth century. Okay. Yeah, it's too late, and he's not Czech. <laughs> I know, but he was deaf. So good. Right. He was yeah. deaf. But I don't think he wrote his most, his best stuff while he's deaf. First symptoms introduced him. Now, number nine, I mean. This could be anybody. If they're a really great no. amateur, why aren't they professional? I'm really confused. Is it? Well, there's some, there's some actors that are really great golfers and they're not professionals. I know a lot of relatively brilliant people. <laughs> Relative? Get it? Maybe it's Einstein. Oh, oh, I know it is. It's Larry Fine, the Three yeah. Stooges. Oh, no way! No, no. Wait a minute. Relatively brilliant. I think you're correct. I think that's a clue. What if it's Einstein? Oh, could be. Play the violin. No, I didn't say it. Someone else said. I said relative. that relatively might mean. But the best known amateur. That it's Jack Benny, and he said it's not Jack Benny. Right? So. Yeah, exactly. Larry Fine sounds like interesting, though, because why do you think it's Larry Fine, Kevin? Because he's related to his other. Well, he's not. He wasn't brothers. He wasn't related to them. Doctor Howard, Doctor the other two guys were related. I was thinking he was he was related to the, the other guys, but they weren't. They were related. Well, he wasn't. The the clue the clue with those words sounds really good. If it was Einstein, I don't. Yeah. Be Sherlock Holmes. 
Oh, except he was fake. Yeah. <laughs> you think like a good girl. You did the girl. My kitty. Yeah, I'll go with guy. Einstein now, just because of the relatively that, that that was pointed out. All right. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're back. We're done. Unless you want to change. Oh, no, 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 no. Number eight. Number eight. Oh. I think. Could it just be Gustav Mahler himself? Mahler, yes, Mahler himself. Good okay. idea. Because he, he, at one point, he did lead it. I don't know if it was there. Yeah. Do we, we think Mahler, Mahler could be the answer to two questions? Well, we don't have another one for number one unless maybe, you can think of other. Alan is a Mahler fan. Um, probably he is, but I don't know if he'd have someone twice. Uh, what about Dvorak for totally? He dead? was, he was Hungarian and I don't think oh, he was good dead. call. Well, I'm always thinking about like changing borders because they would have been in like the Hungarian, the Austria Hungarian empire to begin with. But did he identify as being Hungarian or identify being Czech? So it was like. Totally no, I don't know. I just know he's a very modern composer. He's one of the last classicals. Mark, do you know your Czech 19th century composers? No. Who is totally deaf? <laughs> and uh, number five is more he like the, na the Nazis are pounded on the door. So that's like is, is list, deaths at the door. You know what I mean? Is a Czech uh, composer that could have been deaf? the idea of it, Kevin. No, he's okay. definitely Hungarian. Oh. Who, okay, was rock? What about Rachmaninoff? Oh, he was Russian, right? Yeah. And he wasn't deaf. I thought he was punk rock. What, what do we fast have? enough to be punk rock? Well, so far, Mahler is the only person we know who's Czech. I think he right. could have put two answers the same. Um, what it's the first and, the, and almost the last. I could see him doing. What that. do we have for nine? For nine. Sorry, my camera's Einstein. in the way. Einstein. 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 Are we going to stick with Einstein or, or? I'm okay with it. But then again, I'm just a guest here. Well, but I think that that's a little hint. I mean, I didn't pick that up. Someone else said relatively. Yeah. yeah I, that, that's given me the idea for Einstein yeah. too. Right. I mean, but that should be Jack amateur. Benny. The answer yeah. should be yeah. Jack Benny. I mean, I've been to Princeton and where is, there's a museum where his home is. I don't remember anything about him playing the violin but that doesn't, that doesn't mean Me anything either. i don't i don't i don't know who it would be unless it was jack benny or okay was there a president who played truman played the piano i think yeah that makes sense yeah. i'm really yeah that relatively though that that yeah, does seem out of place like yeah you guys you remember that movie 10 and how they, oh, yeah. how they used Valero. It was so hilarious. I had to go back and watch clips of it because I've never seen it. There's a, <laughs> one studio I used to work at and then they would have a Friday Bolero day and they would play Bolero and we'd have to do whatever cleaning we could do while Bol Bolero played. <laughs> that was the time limit for like you know, cleaning up for leaving time. for Friday. <laughs> that and Spirit of Heaven. So going back to five, I think that it was the let's go brandon of world war ii i don't think they'll the be answer will be worded in that way no but i think that's what it means like it's just some sort of slight well i know wagner was used for nazi propaganda did they they didn't use beethoven similarly well why would they ban it uh, that's why i'm curious i have no idea okay so and again something. it's just this single piece not all of beethoven Right. right. So Kevin, Kevin has a memory that in a film, John Voigt is teaching it to some kids and he's using the words with it. Death at the door. Death at the door. Yeah, but I don't know if it had anything to do with Nazis. I just know he was saying that over in, in the movie, you know. It's it could why be would, wrong, but that's why the only would thing I in my head. ban something. He doesn't seem like someone who would ban music. Well, that's why I'm saying that the the it's a I propaganda just, thing. It's like it's like saying the nazis are bad i think that the that the and people he didn't the want street people to say that would go dun, 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 and it was like let's go brandon it was just a like if they heard it they knew that that's what um they were saying is fuck you 
excuse me, Sue, Susan, uh, yeah. at what point do, do, does who calls who back? So ha have you gone around all the rooms? Pretty much, and, and everybody's nearing the end. I don't think everybody's, anybody's, anybody's finished yet, though. Okay, so you can go browse around a little bit more and then come back here as soon as you think that they're at their point where they're done. All right. Okay, so, so Susan, what you're saying is for number five is because it became in common use to be in support of the allies. Yeah, or insubordinate to the Nazis. Insubordinate to the Nazis. Or okay. whatever, just some like, fuck okay. you. And that can still go along with what you're saying, Kevin. The death yeah, of your thing may be a manifestation of that. Uh, but I can't think of any other reason. I, I'm, I don't know this. I'm just saying that human nature is that they're going to want to come up with some way of saying F you without saying F you. And Goebbels was an asshole. And yeah, and he was an asshole. And I could see him saying, we got to, they can't, they can't play this song anymore because every time they play it, it means. But I've never it reminds him it. of his first girlfriend. <laughs> no. He was, he, you know how uh, Hitler was a failed painter. Goebbels was a, a failed pianist and he yeah. had, to, he couldn't perfect that. And he ended up uh, becoming a Nazi instead. His life would have gone very different, different. If, if, had, if he had been somebody bought his music. Yeah. <laughs> I had like just Ma seen Manson. Manson. With the yeah, Manson. Boys. Yeah. I just saw a, a video about, and it mentioned Goebbels. I'm trying to remember why. The only person who survived in that family was his stepson, his wife's child. Before I guess they got married, everybody else he poisoned, oh. and uh, he personally the, poisoned. I killed all his and kids. then yeah. and then himself and his wife yeah they shot oh. themselves they did murder suicide oh yeah they they didn't want to be captured right. but the oldest child was in the military and he was he went on to be good gracious it was some video i was watching and it and it had a picture of the gobbles and and all his kids and then there was a stepson and his stepson was an adult and he was wearing a military uniform and they're saying he's the only one that survived and he went on to do something and i can't think of what it is and i can't look right now because it might give me a hint about it. but it was there was some reason that he went on to found a organization or something i can't remember Mm. Chain of bagel restaurants and all the proceeds <laughs> Chain of bagel were donated <laughs> to restore the lost and stolen artwork of the Jewish people. Yeah. Was it? He went on. I'm dying to look. Can we stick with Hebrew? Do we? Let's go back to two. I'm. 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 I have an inkling that it's Hebrew, um, and not Latin. But uh, anybody else want to give a shot at number two? It makes sense. Book of Psalms. It would either be Hebrew or English. Um, I think. I've never yeah, heard of anything like that. English is a fair guess. I think it's Hebrew. Hmm. I think I'm, not, I'm just not familiar with it. Okay, Alan's back. So you got it, I Alan? Mean, yeah, so I'm going to uh, call everybody back. Okay, now what I want you to do before you do that is leave this room and go to the main room and then call everybody back. Otherwise... Yeah. As soon as you as soon as you call everybody back and you leave the room, there's no th one minute. So you gotta okay. leave the room. I'm in favor of changing two to English. I think that might be right. I think it's more likely to be Hebrew because like okay. he said everything else was, you know, it's an American composer, it's in an English town and an English cathedral, but he's Jewish. That, yeah, I don't think that he would have picked that question and worded it that way if it was English. It'd be like that it's english it's going to be either spanish or italian well hebrew <laughs> just because hebrew we haven't so said on those. the nose i think it's pig latin <laughs> no <laughs> that's you the only one that? i would say no how would you do that um say um say. mr che um it's, your, it's really say. easy to rhyme in pig latin <laughs> that's funny so, all right you guys you did fantastic could be uh, double the, bubby, double I'm bubby. Sad the two I knew or the three I knew. Were find out. But at least I, okay. I confirmed well, your choices. Good job, guys. Well, well uh, the list is long. Yeah, it's got a specific problem in this particular asshole. Yeah.
That's well, that was our the conclusion. Uh, in our and group. My favorite <laughs> thing was in, in every room when they got to that one, everybody said he was an asshole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I think Is that it, not a satisfactory enough answer? No, it's not. It's, it's not. The consensus should win on that one. Yeah, right. Alan, yeah Alan, I mean, Alan, you need to be more specific and say he was a Nazi asshole. Yeah, yeah. Alan, so what'd you think of uh, what'd you think of going from room to room? Yeah, it was, it was fun, you know, especially I, I like. How, but you know what? It was interesting because the, the scores are all going to be high because I, I figured, the, I think the way I worded it, and I made sure I put a couple of names in there <clears throat> to, to help, you know, so it's not so obscure. But I think all, but it's interesting. I think every team had problems with the, with the Gerbil one. Um, uh, and uh, there are a couple of teams that got an answer to at least one of the questions yeah. that I wasn't sure anybody was going to get and Ooh. they got them. So yeah. anyway, okay. So Let's see the if, I don't in the chat. This, if I don't screw this all up here. Um, oh, chat. All right. You're doing um, great. Let yeah, us know you did really what good. that is. When you okay, give us the answer, okay, let us the, know which question that the, was. Where's my hat? There's my hat. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Um, and I'll try to remember to get the right thing here. Hold on. I do this. And I want answers, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what Mark's doing. That's what Goebbels said. Here comes Mark. That's right. Marco comes there. Okay, yeah. here we go. So we have them. Um I know this one, number one, was was got correct in at least one or two, one one room anyway that I saw. Um okay. And okay. And okay. <laughs> That's okay. An okay. 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 So it was Smetana. Okay. Oh, so Smetana oh. went deaf in his late forties from a, a syphilitic infection. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those who are not familiar, you probably are familiar with his work. Uh, he, I, I know some people thought about uh, 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 when they saw Czech, they were thinking um, oh, the Moldau. Uh, the, well, the Moldau is his most famous piece, and he yeah. wrote that. He wrote Mavlast, um, uh, My Fatherland, while he was deaf, which is, to me, just totally amazing. Uh, a lot of people thought Beethoven, but Beethoven was German. Mm, yeah. Um, by the what way, is, I is, is, Leonard, is, I think, Leonard Mahler. Mahler yep, was Leonard got it right. Uh, Mahler was German. Not would it German. amaze you that uh, I was not in the category of most of you would probably recognize? Oh, I no, I'll bet you, I'll bet you if you heard the piece, uh, the Israeli national anthem is stolen right off of it, but uh, well, Moldau yeah. was based on a on a traditional tune, anyway. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm sure Rob Rob sings that song every day in the shower. Oh, da, 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 <laughs> All right. Da, da, da. And uh, okay. Um, whoops. All right. All right. You're the master of suspense. You know that. Yes, I know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, I'm just it's an accomplishment that I can even find my way around here. Okay. <laughs> I think I think a bunch of you guys got this one um it is hebrew and it there's actually really and there's you. no yes yes good yes. job Karen. and there's no uh there's no uh there's no, no translation it's uh, uh it's always this is the way uh uh, uh bernstein wrote it to be done oh, in hebrew. Wow. Okay. Uh, so um yeah so oh, okay uh let's see is it at least transliterated uh, well, I suppose that that that's possible. That's not translating. Did did he okay. include the vowels, or did the Matherites have to add those in? <laughs> I, I don't recall. Um, no Matherites were harmed during the production of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this one I think most of you guys got, um, but uh, okay. So let me let me put this down here. Now the interesting oh, you, thing you, it was Ben Frank. Yeah. You missed you missed one. Damn it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll then. Oh yeah, we did. No, we well, know. Okay. We here's number. So here's number four anyway. <laughs> Paved uh, over Ben Franklin. <laughs> so it was so. All right. So this is the glass harmonica one, and it was Ben Ben Franklin. And apparently, he actually mm -hmm. uh, he was just he saw a street guy uh, doing you know with the glasses, and he and he realized that you know you can only do two notes at a time. So he said, well. well you know, he liked inventing. And this was apparently one of his favorite inventions. He um, he said, well, he, he'll he he'll devise something that you can play on. Um, Leonard, it doesn't go through water. And, and I'm going to show you a quick video. Um, what he does, you, you dip your fingers in the water and you go in the glass. But you'll see in this picture that has 
stripes on it, just like uh, like the black keys of a piano. So let me, mm -hmm. let me, let me, let me. This was this. on Spring the Strange just the other day, uh, okay. a week or two ago. It's, it was a pseudoscience. People actually thought that this was like doing something to you, healing people. And oh, I recall that on maybe um, Sherlock Holmes was also used in one of Sherlock Holmes, uh, one of the movies that was um, about based on Sherlock Holmes mm. life. Uh, OK, you know what? I may have um, uh, give me bear with me one second because I may have screwed this up here. I, I thought I had the um, these guys already. Um, OK, really? Can you can you see this? Are you looking at? Have I shared the screen? screen yet? No. no, no, no. Okay, so let, let's do this. Um, you have to share the screen. Yeah, I'm I'm sure the sound. Sound. No, no, no. Here we go. Also, uh, Susan, this is a YouTube video, so you might want to stop the recording. Uh, that. Okay, so now. I said very interesting. Oh, cool. that was cool. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so cool. I number three. I missed number three, and it, it's where the hell is it? I think it disappeared. What well, um, what was the question? Number three, West Side uh, Story. All right, I, I'm sorry. I, I I must have accidentally screwed it up here, but uh, I think some of you guys got it. Um, it is well. I'll tell you what. I'll let's um, let me just put it in here. Uh, you could tell us. Yeah, I will. I will. Dramatic pop. Ah, it's Lincoln like Center. It's Lincoln like Center, and because uh, apparently what they did is it was the slums on the east uh, are on the west yeah, side here, and they uh, they figured they knew they were going to be leveling it to uh, to um, uh, build the Lincoln Center, and so what they did they just they used it to film it, and then right after they they built. Oh, them. so they knew. <laughs> that's why they were. Oh, okay, makes sense. And they pay okay. homage to it in the new film by beginning. Right with yeah. uh, a construction sign saying future home of the Lincoln Center. Ooh, yeah. Oh, OK. Now, this is the one that everybody seemed to have tr trouble with. Um, and I, 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 it's kind of my favorite question here. So let me let me do this. Um, and this will make perfect sense uh, when you when you see it. OK, maybe. It isn't that just Goebbels is an asshole. <laughs> well, he was. Um, here you go. Uh, the opening, short, 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 long, da, 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 in Morse code, oh, is a few, as in right. victory. Oh. And so the, the allies oh. used, it, used that, and particularly the British. And so you, whenever you'd see on a, B, you'd see a BBC uh -huh. uh, broadcast or a newsreel, and you'd always see, uh, um, Churchill with the V and they would always play ba, 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 ba. well the Nazis weren't happy mm -hmm. and the irony of this is uh, Beethoven was uh, one of Hitler's favorite composers and they used a lot of Beethoven's music as Nazi propaganda but this piece because the the allies mm -hmm. had usurped that that, that opening mm -hmm. motif they banned it from uh, being played oh that's brilliant mm -hmm. Be, so be very it. careful to put your fingers this way yeah. and not that way. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really long answer. I mean, how much of that did we need to have to get it correct? Because we got the Churchill and the V part. Well, I just thought it might be interesting. Well, that would make would sense. That yeah, no, that should be an answer because right. I, gave us, yeah. I gave it to us. Honor because, system. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense because if you knew that, because obviously yeah. we're talking about ba 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 ba. And then well, you have too. to say it was Morse code. I was sitting here thinking, what, code it code is, for... what is it about that? Oh, oh you have on, to say it's on. Morse code? Wait, we, we got the Churchill and the V part. We didn't get the Morse code part. Oh, well, you've got to get them. You have to have the opening motif because that's specifically yeah, we, uh, to that yeah, that's, that's what I said. It was the. I yeah, was Bob kind of went through the whole thing. Okay. All right. Uh, what yeah. number is that? Five. Oh, I, okay. I better hurry up. Okay. So we're, what number are we at now? Six. Six. Number six. Okay. The opera. Uh, Okay, I think most of you got this one. Uh, okay. Yeah. I love Gershwin. Okay, yeah, Porgy and Bess. Amazing. All right. And, uh, and I, I think if you guys kept it, one of, one, of, one of the teams got this one right, and I really didn't think anybody would get it. Um, oh, really? 
Uh, I think everyone got seven right, probably. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, Gustav Mahler. Uh, so we're on seven about the Ravel piece. Bolero. Uh, did I just did Bolero. I miss another one? Yeah. <laughs> Ravel's Bolero. All right. Well, it was Bolero. Okay. You know. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna. It's because uh, the and the next one is the next one. Uh, the Mahler Symphony. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. It was for the Mahler. next one, that's uh, 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 Yay. Mahler. Um, oh. uh, you're right. Okay, you got the Bolero. Um, I think for number nine. Um, eight, I, you mean eight was, eight was Mahler? Eight was Bolero, I think. No, Seven eight, was was Bolero. eight was Mahler. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got my <laughs> number. That, this is what I, what I do. Okay, it's six, Porgy and Bess. Yeah. yeah. And seven, Bolero. Bolero. And eight, Mahler. Mahler. Okay, so I got him reversed. Okay, um, all right. And nine, um, I believe I, I, some of you guys got it. Um, Einstein. We're relatively sure we got it. Yes, <laughs> that's I, and that's exactly why I put the right. relatively mm -hmm. in there because I, I I I figured clever, you guys Alan, would clever. Yeah. So I Yay, figured Brian. you guys would come up. Now, okay, sorry, you gotta you gotta you gotta sit through another another uh, uh video here. Um I I look I knew that he played violin and I was wondering how good could this guy possibly have been. Um let me see. I want to see Einstein play violin, Joe. Um okay. Here yeah, is I'm gonna I'm gonna play. give you a little snippet of um Buddy playing, right? well yes it could have but i i am a without the video guy. there is no proof i'm really astounded that, uh, that he was that good it's amazing you know? how good he can play because you can barely see him move the ball. <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's the way he's we playing at the play. speed of light so it's like okay. beyond okay. human perception um, all right. Uh, I know at least one team got this last one correct. The, the spelling was atrocious, but we're not here for spelling. So um, what? What? That was me. <laughs> okay. Um, and okay. And that would be Tchaikovsky. And it would oh. be Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Oh. So the. So here you go. So I, I, I wrote this just for general information. Uh, um, you know, he was the big star in the music world at the time. And uh, when they invited him uh, to come and do, they asked, they, they commissioned him to write a piece of music. And, and he figured, well, the Americans aren't going to know any difference. So what he did is he, he, uh, uh, he just took one of the pieces he'd already written and uh, uh, for a coronation, a march, and he just put the name uh, March Solonel on it, figuring the Americans wouldn't know anything. And when he got here, they, they all knew, but they didn't care. They were just excited to see him conduct his own music. And he actually apparently he had said that evident, the American audiences knew more about his music than the Russians did. Did he so still get paid? <laughs> yeah, he still got paid. <laughs> And there you go. That was very good. Good, Alan. Thank you. Great, Alan. Alan. Great category. <sighs> was it? How's your stress level now? Did we lose him? He can no longer talk. Oh, can no longer talk. Point? I said, "How was your stress level now that you did that?" Well, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad because I, I, I try. I just, it just. I, I feel like I was just going so slowly. Well, it's just. Copying, pasting for some people—that's the hardest part of the whole thing. So, doesn't doesn't surprise me at all. Very good, good questions. Yay. Not ambiguous oh, or anything of that sort. Good job, good job team. Did are... better than I would have thought we were. Okay, so um, mine's more expensive with six. Wait, let me go over to a share screen so you can watch watch the scores mm. getting in here. Hopefully, well, which one? My sister. The sister there, Sarah yeah. there. Okay, so mine's more expensive. Seven. Okay, a resolution free 2022. Six. Hmm. If you suffer from moderate to severe Polish, you may be entitled to a compensation. <laughs> as long as the spelling of Tchaikovsky doesn't count, we got eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done, uh, Polish. Fortnite, Fortnite backup server disaster. We got seven. 
And yes, it's the trivia zone. Seven. Wow, you guys wow. both look at that. Oh, close. 13, 13, 15, 15, 15. Good job. So you did. You did good. I've ever seen it other than first round. Yeah, <laughs> that's very good. Good job, y'all. Okay, so five minute break. All right, oh, thanks. Wait, picture first. Picture, wait, wait. Picture, nobody go anywhere for a second. Oh. Let's get everybody in the camera. What, Hector? You want me in the picture? Oh. 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 Place. I love it. Well, you'll have to take up the screen there, Jamie. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Brian Kirby's got his hair done. Okay. So everybody ready? No, wait. Hector, Hector needs to be in here. Okay. One, two, three. Hi, Hector. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Very good, y'all. Here you go, Fresh Abby. You have, you, have another, you have another drawing before you go. So <laughs> now you have one for both of my kids. Oh, oh those okay. are good. You're, you're famous. <laughs> okay. Twenty. Uh, five minute break. Right. Right. You're and going, then, Avi? Yep. Okay. Night, have a happy New Year Bye. celebration. Bye. 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 Sleep well, Avi. Off. Okay. <coughs> Those scores turned out okay. I thought they were all yeah. a bunch of nines yeah. and tens. That's good. That great. Did you really think it would be all nines and tens? No, the way I would going from room to room, everybody seemed to be getting all these answers. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, but no, actually, that's that's the kind of score I, I actually was very happy to get. I, I, I didn't want really low scores and I, I didn't want to just see a whole bunch of tens. Yeah, it was a good category. The Goebbels one really boy. Amazingly, I, I didn't know hardly any of the few, but I sussed out number eight, but my team didn't believe me. What was Which it? one was that? Which the was Gustav it? Mailer. I said, what if he was the one who was, it? yeah, no, 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 no. no, can't be him. Oh, was that, maybe it was your team, because I know someone that said that while I was there, you know, you think it could be my Mahler himself, you know. Yeah, well, we, had that, that, we had that, we had that they, our team. Yeah. They didn't go with that. We went with Alan Copeland, who I don't even know who that is. So. Oh, Aaron, it's too far, too long. He, Aaron Copeland was later. Yeah. And if it was going to be any help, that's why I wanted the dates in there because uh, yeah, maybe that, it might yeah, well, for some people who would know composers, that was a good. That so was how's good that was how's gel these days, Robert Palmer? Uh, I'm not allowed to comment on the situation. My lawyer says. <laughs> so writing, are you doing much writing of music in in prison there? I, I'm I'm helping out uh, Trump's legal team sue the Supreme Court and everyone else. For those of you who don't know, yeah. somebody named Robert Palmer. Are we Robert supposed Palmer. to be recording? Oh, yeah, we're still recording. That's right. Okay. Um, Robert Palmer was a, was one of the nine uh, January 6th um, writers and uh, is in prison. And he was an they, extra they, idiot. I they mean, actually they idiot. gave me the highest sentence. This is my real background. I had a high good one. They, they gave me the highest sentence of anyone so far just because I freaking threw a fire extinguisher at a cop. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Remember the guy that I showed videos of and yeah. that he was there? Mm -hmm. He he got arrested. And um yeah, he got arrested and he's facing Oh, the person you knew? Yeah. His name is John. It was in the newspapers in Florida. Oh. He went to court and he was real quiet in court, but he was almost like Is it defiant. Thomas John? No, no. <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> but you had a lot of coincidences. It was weird, Susan. You showed that newspaper, that's my hometown. Then you talked about the guy who did the reporter. That's my, well, I live in Attleboro now, but my hometown, Taunton, where all the pictures behind me are from, the Christmas city, that's where the uh, reporter works out of. So there's all those connections. It was kind of bizarre. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's an article about that by Mick yeah. West in the next, in the new Skeptical Inquirer about, uh, he, he, he did an article on Jeopardy, um, the categories, the questions, their their answers that are being asked on Jeopardy are actually sending him secret messages. <laughs> Jeopardy and coincidences. I got the book. Oh they, no! Then, uh, not too long ago, the last episode, oh, they had no. the Bridgewater Triangle. Did you see that one? Mm -mm. And that's this one right here. That's this article. right where I live in the Bridgewater it, Triangle. That's it's all called Gold Jeopardy: The Ideas of an in Reference. I, don't, I didn't don't read publish the anything in that rag. No. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. Is that is that the one that's got my article on it? You got an article in here? I think that one. You yeah. would What's know. the subject? What's the subject? Uh, it's the SETI talk that I did for the New York City Skeptics. Oh, neat. Yeah, 
there it is. The study of failure of skepticism. Oh. Page 53. Oh, I, yeah. uh, I, did, I just was again. glancing through this today. Here's Littard's article what, right there. What volume is that? Just came out. I just got it in the middle. Volume 46. Is it January, February? Okay. Volume January, 46, February. Volume one. <laughs> okay. So my article on the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project is going to be in the next version. I just got the proof today. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> and Mark's writing, in, uh, Mark's writing up an article for a uh, review of Nightmare Alley. It'll he oh yeah, he turned me on to that movie. That was actually very God, interesting. That was good. Watch. I don't know if you've seen it online yet, but uh, it's going to be both in the print and the online edition. Oh, there good. is a I like um, it. there's an a review of Don't Look Up by oh, Mark yeah, Boslav. Somebody's doing that. Who's oh writing yes, that? yes, yes. He sent me that. Nice. Yeah. Who's by, writing by it? Mark Mark Boslav. The guy who's interested yeah, yeah. in the questionably, uh, I don't know, uh, climate changing possible impact on the North American. Yeah, he's, he, yeah. he is a he is a world class expert yeah. on the effects of 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 of, um, of impacts. Yeah, yeah. We, Thank you, Leonard. We wrote his Wikipedia page, by the way. Just saying. is Leonard yeah. in from the magazine. Yeah. Um, cool. Oh my gosh! Did I put that up again. I didn't see where you were. I found you. So, so that picture is actually a crop of a picture of Richard and I, Richard Saunders and I at Chabot. Oh, Chabot. I think my picture of you is much more attractive. It is, but it's less typical of a uh, of a headshot. Yeah, well, I'm untypical. I'm if I the next article I write, I'm going to put my turkey hat on and so that's going to be like. <laughs> I don't know if they'll accept not, it. Not your Medusa one? No, because they, 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 they get out of the, you know, the, the head. Too big. Yeah. How about just tinfoil? <laughs> no, that's already been done. Been done too so, much? A, a, a spaghetti strainer? But it's a long time before I write another article. I, so I'm supposed to be doing have, something else. Have other people seen uh, Don't Look Up? No, I haven't seen it. I saw yeah. parts. I it saw it I want to last night. It. You did? Did, yes. did you did you watch Denise past when the credits the started to run? Yes, we watched all the way through the okay. end because okay, very we were good. glued in. It was okay. very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I heard about it. it. I don't want. They did a Marvel style two it post credits. My scenes. husband a half an hour to figure out how to get Netflix on our TV, but he did it. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it really worth watching it? Because when I when I my sister was watching part of it, and I was just like, I don't know if I can watch what seems like a really shitty movie. With A-list actors in it, because that's it, what would really bother. It, it has, <laughs> it has no, it has no subtlety, it has no elegance or <laughs> delicacy to it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's an absolute sledgehammer, but it hits the <laughs> nail right on the head. Because I, 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 I got to the part. screen, you guys, and I, I was waiting to you better. notice that Susan. I was yeah. like looking at yeah. Faith. What and are we and talking about? My picture Look at right Romero's above, picture. He took Romero's like right above <laughs> Faith, and I thought that's me. But why? I don't see Romero. He must be on my second screen. No, the, no Romero There's is. I uh, got a video of Susan singing. Oh yeah, Bolero. Yeah. Wait, wait. Where? Watch, watch. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Watch, watch. <laughs> No, For me, I, the two Susans are one right on top of each other. <laughs> so it was very obvious. Yeah. Like, I started watching it, I think, when Leonardo DiCaprio's character was on the news station screaming at everybody. No, he didn't scream. That was the point. He didn't scream. What the hell? Ed, Jennifer Ed, Lawrence Ed, or Ed, Natalia Ed. Parsonak apparently screamed. Uh, I got to get something to drink. I'll be right back. That's when well, he was almost shouting. Almost done with five minutes, so hurry up. Yeah, so, there was a lot. There was a lot of screaming done by just about everybody. So N Natalia Pasternak, it, it, this is a big thing in Brazil that they they actually they actually had a meme and they had every character that was in that movie relating to somebody in Brazil, and Jennifer Lawrence's character was Natalia Pasternak because Natalia she she actually sent me the video she did that on a, on a TV show where she screamed, essentially screamed at them and told them to f off. Okay. So, like, people in Brazil know this, and it's, like, going all around. Seems appropriate. Yeah, yeah. 
so it's, it's funny, I've been getting, I put this on my Facebook page. I got a lot of comments from people in Brazil that, and I didn't even make that connection, of course, because I don't know Brazilian politics or anything. Oh, this is Bolsonaro. This is so-and-so. This is so-and-so. It's so clear. This is his son. And I'm like, no, it was Trump and, and Trump Jr. And it was like, it's like everything was me. It was American politics. It, it's, quite, it, it's kind of interesting that it related so well to at least two countries. And it was originally written as a comment on Global. climate change yep, science, yep, yep, yep. Um, but that. it fits COVID incredibly well. Perfectly. I'm, I'm afraid to watch it. It sounds like something that make me have trouble sleeping. No, everybody oh. I said thinks it's funny. I just think I caught it at a point where I really wasn't sure what this film was oh about. God, there's another of me. <laughs> well, it's it's funny like idiocracy is funny. Yeah, it's it's sad. If you came funny. in the middle of idiocracy, you might. Oh, you guys. Oh God, Richard. <laughs> what movie are you talking about? Don't look Don't up. Look up. Oh. But what movie are you talking about? <laughs> My God, the well, virus. When they got to the, the part about spreading. The when they got to the part about the comet, like what was what was starting to bother me is make sure this is an accurate portrayal of what it's supposed to look like. And it was actually pretty good. I didn't think that was bad. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. What I you thought know, was bad was every, everyone commenting on my Facebook. Well, the asteroid's going to hit Earth. The asteroid's going to hit Earth. And I was like, Leonard, no, it's a comet. Why are you splitting oh, hairs? It doesn't matter. It's the same Mara, thing. that looks no. freaky. Sorry, that looks very freaky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm normally a, a huge stickler when it comes to uh, getting things right. Mm -hmm. um, and they got so many, they got a few things wrong, but they got so many things right that uh, it didn't bother me at all. Yeah, the things I got wrong have to do with the mission, so I can't mention that without being spoilery. But nobody better give it away. I don't think. Well, I'm they it, they uh, they imply that a comet of that size okay. is is spectacularly large, mm -hmm. and it isn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Romero. <laughs> would, so, would you agree with the, with the size and the velocity of that comet? Let me know when you're done spoiling the show. I haven't seen yet. Yeah. They haven't oh, that, spoiled it yet, have they? That would be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so back from five minutes and the entertainment we're getting from Romero. Uh, <laughs> well, statutes of limitations on movies used to be five or six years, but now it's like, I think, three days. And it's been on Netflix yeah, for five. So. Oh, so <laughs> says, the, says Robert Palmer, who said, nobody spoil. Um, Mm -hmm. Project Hail Mary. Project Hail Mary for me for like three months. Or more. Have you read it yet, Rob? <laughs> yes, I have. Iron Man yeah. without getting spoiled. So you know that's a book. Iron Man okay. stuff all over now. That's, that's, that's a, a book. book. That's true. It's a book, so it's a little different. It takes I, a while to read it. And nobody spoil it. I'm in the process of reading it. I just got to the point where they called the planet. There, no, 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 that's a spoiler. Oh, no, 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 that's a spoiler. I'm so excited, though. <laughs> I'll wait to the movie. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. I'm, no, so yeah, glad you're, I'm, I'm so glad you're reading it. Even. And stuff like that. It's fun. Project Hail <laughs> Mary. We're going to have to have it's a category. So very clever. For those that are audio booking it or people using Audible or other means, what audio, are people using? Audible. 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 I used Audible. The, uh, the Audible book version is really well done. Yeah. It's good. It's For reasons we can't talk about. And really, I, really I was well looking done. into Audible. Is it? I mean, with Audible, are you forced to do a, a monthly subscription and that's just how it works? Or are you able to do yes. like you can, you, or books? you can gift somebody a book? I yeah. haven't been able to figure out how to gift a book for it. I was trying to figure oh, it really? out. Oh, really? I've gifted books. Because that's the thing. None of us have a coupon Audible code. And I didn't want to lock myself into them. An, just another get it. You'll like it. That, well, ben, you can what also you can do is buy your book and then cancel the subscription. You get to keep everything that you buy hmm. with the credits. Yeah. yeah. You just, if you cancel it, if you cancel it and you have outstanding credits, right. they'll go away. Okay. But you can also just put a three month hold on your account <laughs> before because I've done that. I right. have it set up so it's every other month. Mm. So, I mean, like, I, so I, I get the credits slowly, but I can't just completely com cancel. Anyway, so Kyle. Hey, hey. Kyle Pull Itch. Well done. I wrote it yeah. down. <laughs> Well, this week on Data Skeptic, yeah, actually, it's a good one. One of our popular episodes, I talked to a uh, data scientist who works for Visa, whose focus is on fashion. And we talk all about how she can use data to predict fashion trends into the future. Oh, wow. This week on Data Skeptic. Ooh, Ramir and I have listened to the episode, and it was fascinating. Awesome. Thank you. 
and and don't forget kyle mention your mention your show i watched it was so good oh yeah and then we had our hgtv show uh, my wife and i are our house is on inside out looks a lot better than this garage does but yeah i promise you the inside out uh, the inside and the outside that you can't see is cool so if you want to check out the tv show it's please two dollars do. and 99 it's 100 percent real yeah <laughs> it's very interesting it was very Except good for the watch. drama and and kyle and and linda do a terrific job they just now that I know that they were acting, God, ringed it for me now. But boy, yeah. I did like it. It was very good, and the house is beautiful. We were genuinely upset about the asbestos, but you know it is. What and it what is. about the furnace? Oh yeah, and the furnace went out too. Yeah, it was a series of disasters. But what are you going to do? Well, are you using your furnace now, like on purpose? We are. Yeah, we used to live like uh, grad students. We just had like little space heaters, but now we have a legitimate HVAC system going on. It's great. Yeah, I said, you know, I know you had to pay for it, but boy, that is nice. Well, it in is. LA, it's not as- You I feel like a modern human being. Mm -hmm. Do you wonder if they put the asbestos there and ruined your furnace just to create the drama? No, it was underneath. Mm -hmm. Now that you've mentioned it, I think I should speak <laughs> to somebody. It was... Inside out. I like the way you think, problem. Kelly. It's, it's very good. It's two dollars and ninety nine cents. You can get it off of. Uh, Prime. I think it's Primer. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed to wind up on YouTube for free at some point, but right now it's only on some weird service. When did that? When did that happen? Because you guys weren't using masks or anything. So was it recorded before COVID? Yeah, it like the whole thing collided right with the start of COVID. Ooh. so you were yeah. done at the beginning of COVID. no we weren't and then we were masked and they were here it was a whole thing but no one got sick and then one person got sick on the crew but that had nothing to do with us but yeah it takes a couple months before stuff hits tv yeah that's what i thought okay so um uh, richard saunders yeah coming up this week on the skeptic zone podcast which will be <laughs> next year in fact in 2022 <laughs> oh. We have the story of uh, somebody involved in a new age church who was fired from the wellness center in the church because she dared to get a COVID vaccine. Ooh. Ooh. And we also look at the strange case of John Brount, who in 1948 said he ha could cure cancer here in Australia. So all that coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. Very good. I'm behind actually on everything because I have not been driving anywhere. I haven't been gardening. So I am going to have to sit down and binge a lot of this stuff. And now I found out that this uh, Ricardo thing is on Netflix. So, so I'm putting in here the, uh, oh yeah. So we talked about Leonard's um, article in the, in the new skeptical inquire, which is, this one, if anybody missed it, this is the newest Skeptical Inquirer magazine just came out. I got it in the mail yesterday, I think. And Leonard has an article. Is SETI, I'm reading it backwards, mm -hmm. a failure of skepticism. So that article's in there. And Rob says he's going to have an article coming out in a, uh, Richard Saunders is in a week or so. No, a month, the next issue. And don't uh, Rob and um, <coughs> Rob and Richard, are you guys going to be on Seth Andrews' program? We are. Oh, I think Rob. we've agreed upon a date. So yes, it's going to, we're going to record it. I think it's the week after next. There, so, there Richard's showing the, the, it's in the Skeptic Magazine. Are you guys going to be talking about windmills? Australian windmills. <laughs> yes. Make sure you do. Yeah. So... <laughs> So I just in, put in, inside joke there. I put I'll explain it someday. So I put um, when we're not recording, I will put I just put the link to Monterey County Skeptics. It's coming up with our skeptic camp. It's going to be on the 8th of of um, January. It's a Saturday or a Sunday in Australia. And you will see there's a lot of people on here that you know that will be doing speaking. And oops, I should actually put the schedule on here. And there's a Facebook group and a meetup group if you want to actually you know get the links well the links are on here what i just put has the links in it so that's a i heard a rumor thing. that leonard is speaking about something oh, oh, right. of it. leonard speaking to a children's um to, bertha said she's going to reach out to you can you say what you're going to be doing uh she hasn't yet but uh i've been asked to speak about uh moon landing hoax to some school kids in florida yeah 
and we're going to be doing still, more of this but over is over Zoom. Is that still a thing? Unfortunately, yeah. it is. Wow. I Karen has a question or a statement or something funny to say. Um, uh, hi, I uh, hi. went looking to try and make a donation. I know this is free, uh, but you invited folks to make a donation to the scholarship fund for future events. And I couldn't find a link anywhere on the page or meet up to make a donation. How may yeah. I make a donation? She's so sweet. Um, <laughs> there's a big donate button on here. It says donate. On, on which page? Um, I think on every page. Let's see. Yeah, I see one here on the link I just sent at the very bottom. It says donate. Okay. Great. That's very sweet of you. you have to uh, so phone. yeah, we're going to be about free, time. We're going to be projects. Great. Yeah. So it's free, but it's it, donations would be accepted because we're using it just for scholarships. Is that everything for everybody? Well, so per the previous conversation, uh, Leonard mentioned it, the article by Mark uh, Bossop. So it is out. Uh, I think it was just published today. I just put the link. Uh, it's called Hollywood Finally Listens to Scientists. If anyone's interested in watching, don't look up. This is a good, I just quickly read it. It looks like a really good review. Okay, fantastic. I got a podcast. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Go fact was, yourself. Oh, oh that's <laughs> so long. Hey, hey, fact yourself. Thank I you. know, it's been forever. We haven't heard from you in so long, I forgot. I know, I'm sorry, I've got a job. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> How dare you? Are important. <laughs> I know. Um, so currently on Go Fact Yourself, we have Adam Ferreira, who is one of the American, or the Amer or one of the hosts of the American uh, Top Gear show. So if you're into cars, you know who he is. And we also have Leslie Brown, who is a prima ballerina and was nominated for an Oscar for her role in The Turning Point in 1977. Mm. And for those of you watching the Beatles documentary, we have Glyn Johns and Ethan Russell, both of whom are all over that because Glyn Johns was the engineer who was engineering the, uh, the sessions with the Beatles and Ethan Russell was a photographer running around with a still camera. Uh, oh. And they are both going to be on together. They are best friends and uh, Ethan Russell is the godfather of uh, Glenn John's son. Oh, very cool. But they, they will not be talking about the Beatles. I'll be talking about the Who, because oh. Ethan who? Russell is <laughs> Ethan what Russell the is the only person to do, to do with a, a Who album cover, a Beatles album cover, and a Rolling Stones album cover. Hmm. And Glenn Johns is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because he produced everyone. Very good. Very interesting. Oh, so, and I, Mark liked the remake? Okay. Mm -hmm. Of Nightmare Alley. Oh yeah, we just saw it the okay. other day. It was, okay. it, it's the book. It is definitely the book. The, okay. the movie that came out, what was it, 47 or something like that? The, yeah. the Tyrone Powers one? They, that was really dark at the time and we thought it was really well done. It's not as good because it's, okay. it's got- Oh, I did not happy. realize you were talking about a remake. I thought yeah. you were talking about the, uh, yeah. the original. Oh no, the remake's out right now. It was, uh, oh, uh, what's his uh, name? Tar I not Tarantino. I need to look uh, into that. Del Toro. Yeah. Guillermo Del Toro. Yeah, and it is dark. Damn. Just like- Because the, or the original was one of Mark's favorite movies, right? And yeah, this one's in better. fact, they, they talk about him in his book, in the book of Mark wrote, Psychic Blues, um, James Randi himself talks about how he's kind of like associated with the, the character in Nightmare Alley. And Mark mentions Nightmare Alley multiple times in the book that he wrote. Yeah. So it's noir, kind of a noir, train noir. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think last week I mentioned that my article was published about the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project, but then some people weren't there. So I'm going to put the link for that one. Uh, and that has a link to uh, Adrian's fantastic article and the skeptic as well, as well as the a link to the original report. <laughs> More reports written about this and bloody predictions in the project. <laughs> 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 well, correct. okay. So I'm going to put one little thing in the uh, chat because we're talking about Goebbels. He had one stepson that outlived him. The other kids died. His wife had a child before. So this older child, his name was Harold Quant. He ended up uh, living to 1967. And he became one of the people who ran the BMW 
um, he had a big stake in BMW. And I was trying to remember there's something else that happened with him. And I don't remember what it is, but here's a Wikipedia page if you guys want to take a look at, at this. But there was something that was going on at, um, he ended up going, it was in a movie I was watching. I can't remember what it was, but it, they were talking about how <laughs> this guy, uh, Goebbels' son or stepson, mm. had cool. some ties to things that we would know today and stuff went on and did something. I think he was quite wealthy. And anyway, Faithy, you're all set. I'm ready to go. Okay, go for it. Okay. So my category is I wish I could see if a mirror was coming down. On this day, December 30th edition. Oh. So every question I ask is something that has happened on today's date throughout history. Oh, okay. So. December 30th edition. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm going to mute everyone. So you're going to give us a year and we're supposed to tell what happened? No. <laughs> Good. We have to guess the Come. date. Here comes the mute hammer. Boom. Okay. You need to unmute yourself. I did. Yeah. Question number one. In 1953, the first ever color television went on sale from RCA, the CT100. It had an 11 inch screen. How much did it cost in US dollars? And I'm giving you plus or minus 100. And that's in dollars of 1953. Yes. Yes. Well, no, in current, well, in their dollars. I'm not asking for the inflation price. Okay. Question two. Let's see. I have to fix it because it's not copying over correctly. All right. Okay. Which TV show debuted today in 1963? Was it Doctor Who, General Hospital, Let's Make a Deal, or The Patty Duke Show? Number three. In 1916, the murder of Gregorio Rasputin occurred. At the time, it, it occurred much earlier in December since Russia had not yet adopted the Gregorian calendar and went it for another 13 months. Which day was it? I'll give you a hint. Per the Gregorian calendar, 13 years earlier, the Wright brothers were making history in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Question four. The Vatican officially recognizes the state of Israel by opening diplomatic relations. What was the year? And I'll give you plus or minus five. Number five, this woman was arrested after being accused of the torture and murder of hundreds of young girls. She is credited with being the most prolific female murderer of all time. Ooh. Isabella should be here for that. <laughs> she likes this thing. This astronomer form formally published his findings on the existence of other galactic systems for review at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society that would occur two days later. In 1903, an electric arc lamp set fire to muslin curtains at the Iroquois Theater. It's considered the deadliest single building fire in US history, leaving 602 dead. In what major US city did this occur? And number eight, creation of this country was formally proclaimed on this date in 1922. 
I'm sorry, is there a typo in the first line of seven? Arc lamp. An arc lamp. Muslin is a type of fabric. No, it says LAP. Is that lamp? An arc lamp. Oh, yes, I've meant to put lamp. <laughs> sorry. You don't know what an arc lamp is? Yeah. Arc lamp? I didn't know what an arc lap was. Yeah, it's a typo. Arc lap. Thank you, peanut gallery. <laughs> I also don't know what muslin is, but I assume that is. Muslin something. is a type of fabric. Okay. When Moses goes around the world twice. Yes. But if it was muslin, he would Number nine, it. Tokyo opened its first underground railway in 1927. How long was it? And I've given you some options. Ooh. Oh, it's in kilometers. But they're all in metric. Yeah. It's yeah. in kilometers. Yeah. And number 10. Can we give an answer in Fahrenheit instead? No, you cannot. And I expect each team to get this one since everyone has somebody from California in their group, hopefully. So in 1940, California's first freeway opened to vehicular traffic. What's its name? Ooh. Yes. The name of the traffic? No, know. the the <laughs> name of the freeway, peanut gallery. Two. Person who opened it. <laughs> okay. This looks great, Dave. You're welcome. And I guess I'll send you all to your rooms. Okay. Mine's more expensive. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. What'd you do to Caspian? He's not been there. That's why do you assume I did anything to him? Well, I'm the only one there. I have shed a, any need for a corporeal form. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> well, I got a cat sitting on him or something. Okay. Well, I'll... What I do. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. So. Here we go. Who's in charge? I'm just a visitor here. Kelly. Usually Faith. Oh. <laughs> well, Faith and Kelly. Okay. I'm the but Kelly, Kelly, you're the scribe, right? Um, it's the student. Okay. First ever color television. How much do we think it costs? Mm -hmm. Here's Janine. Uh, you know that plus or minus $100 really throws me off because how much? I was thinking about $100. 53. I would lean towards it, saying 200 and then that would cover us from 100 to 300. But it might be more than that because it was such a unique <laughs> item, you know, because it was so new. But so it wouldn't be mass think, produced. It would have been, you know. Right. I could see it being as much as $1,000. No. That would be the a 1950 huge amount Three. Not in 1953. No, that's as much as a house. But if it's the first exactly, people get it. I remember we got our microwave, or it was called a radar range, and they were really expensive. What? Like back <laughs> when the first ones out are always really expensive. Right. Would you go with 750? God, that's still a lot. $750. No? Yep. Later, that was much later. No, but the, I don't know. the range is uh, the range that he, she's given us is a hundred dollars within a hundred dollars. If it's the first one, it's not for the masses, it's for really rich people. Call my husband. Mm -hmm. really Dane, rich. What are you saying? I'm gonna call my husband, he's in the house, <laughs> honey. In 1953, <laughs> how much did it cost to buy it? <laughs> He knows how much did you pay for that TV in 1953? Like the thing is, if you read this carefully, it's not the first ever. It's the first ever on sale from RCA. Oh, oh. thank you. Oh, I mm. interpreted as the first ever color television went on well, color television from RCA. Well, okay. I don't know. That might be how it's intended, but if you break it down grammatically, it could be the first ever from RCA. It could also be like the first mass produced. Uh, dollars. So. $800. Jim says $800. Do I hear 900? 750. <laughs> Seven, 700. Okay. Cover both. What do you think? Are you maybe? I think. Thank you. Them. What if it's. A bit? What if we say 750? That covers us from 650 to 850. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, that was probably likely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. They were expensive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jim said they were expensive. He's saying eight hundred dollars, but if we want to go seven hundred ninety nine. Ninety-nine. That would be good. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Seventy-nine. Seven hundred ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. You were going to say seven. Seven fifty. Since that covers us, six fifty to eight fifty. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, um, I would go. I would. Two. I would go a little higher. I might go to eight. Stick with eight. Um, that's what he said. He said eight hundred. God, that's a lot of money. I'm not for going with eight. If everyone. My parents did. paid nine thousand dollars for their house in 1940. Yeah, but people. Well, yeah, I was like crazy thinking we bought the it. farm for eight thousand in nineteen fifty-eight. Yeah, my parents built their house for twelve thousand. Okay, so you think eight hundred is too high? No, no. Uh, eight hundred is fine. Yeah, um, for the first the seven fifty, I go with Kelly's seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Let's okay. keep going because we are going to run out of time. Okay, so are we going with seven fifty? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. All number right. two is not a 100. that's all i have to contribute number two oh just, we just had that it's question either let's make a deal or patty duke i think it's patty general duke. hospital i think it might be general hospital really yeah <clears throat> yeah i think it was 1962 for general hospital but that's awfully close it was 63 for doctor who it's just not on the right date right. she would know that yeah, I would have said 63 for Doctor Who as well. It is, but it's November 23rd because I went to the 50th anniversary in theaters. Oh. Okay. okay so. Why is that in the Gregorian calendar? <laughs> <laughs> about a time traveler. What does he care about a calendar? Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, okay. okay. So. Okay. So General Hospital B. What's General your Hospital. That's what I'm saying. I would say. Okay, three. Oh, number three, I think, is 17 days earlier. So I believe it's December 14th, 1 4. You're not going to get an argument out of us, I don't think. Okay. December 14th, what? Oh, 19, December 14th. 16. 1960. Ooh. Okay, uh, the Vatican. I have no clue. No, I don't. Probably when did the, the Vatican 70s open diplomatic relations to Israel? Well, it has to be after 1948. Mm -hmm. I think it was probably early 70s. Do you think that late? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 67 war. And then there's 48. <laughs> earlier the vatican who was pope like think about the different who who were the different popes, and who would be more more um you know john paul ringo <laughs> <laughs> um that's so long oh okay so Maybe we should move on and uh, work on the other ones because this is. I, yeah, yeah. I would say sixty-five. Okay. Um, who 65 would... is Elizabeth Bathory? How do you know that? Who else could it be? I've never heard of that person's name. Who she I... bathed in blood? How do you know that? Because it's well known. We know this. It's, mm -hmm. it's like Vlad the Impaler. It's well, well known. It's it's well believed. It may be propaganda. Um, there's nobody else. Number well, six. I think that's Hubble. Is it? I, yeah, I like the, that. Number six, the astronomer. I was going to guess Brahe, but I the think Hubble is better. Definitely not Brahe. Okay. Formally he had a P. Published his findings. <clears throat> Hold on. I, I'm going to say it's Hubble. He like was Hubble. known for work on uh, other galaxies. He was American. Uh, yeah, the boys theater. There was no America when Brahe was alive. Oh, so I five. really missed the word American. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hubble. Is this Hubble? All right. Number seven. 
Iroquois Theater. So I know they're Iroquois in New York. That's where like, most that region, yeah. So I would guess like New York or Boston or I got nothing else. New York seems like a pretty reasonable guess just because it's a huge city with lots of theaters. There's enough to be 602 people that could die in it. I mean, that's, you need a large group of people in yeah. a large theater to get Well, that I mean, that could be any major city, but New York is the major city. Deadliest single fire in US history. The deadliest single building fire in US history. Wow. New York, probably. Wasn't that the women's um, where they no, were? I don't. I don't think. I don't think the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire was that deadly. <laughs> it was very deadly, but I don't think it was the deadliest. Well, and at a theater, like I, if it's a single building and it occurred at a theater, I don't think the factory was in the same building as a the theater. Right. So I didn't think it was Triangle. But I know what you're talking about. I remember that. Tri right. What was the Triangle? Triangle shirt. Triangle shirt. Triangle shirt. Triangle shirt. Okay, number eight. Right. Yugoslavia. I think it's either the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, the Soviet Union, or Turkey. Creation of this country was formally proclaimed on this date in 1922. Which and actually, thinking about, it, I think it's probably not the Soviet Union. I think that was the next year. 1922. Yeah, I lean towards Yugoslavia just because I knew it was after World War One, but I have no other reasons for believing that. It could it, easily be Yugoslavia. It could easily be Yugoslavia. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 1922. <gasps> Yugoslavia would make sense. Right? Russia. <clears throat> I. Let's just go with Yugoslavia because you think it. Uh, that's really a good guess, and I don't think of, rely on me for this. I only know that because it was on an episode of Opening Arguments last week. Well, I'm just thinking. I can think of three options, and I have no good reason to guess any one or the other over the other. So, cool. Then we can blame it. This seems Tyler. right. Uh, number nine question. Okay. What is number nine? It's Tokyo. kilometers for a the railway. underground uh, railway in Tokyo. Tokyo. How long was it? Um, I guess shorter I'm rather than longer. The, I'm not seeing the question here, you guys. Is it in the chat? Yeah, it is in the chat. And again, <coughs> and it's multiple choice. I know. no idea. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's <laughs> Okay, Tokyo opened its first underground railway in 1927. How long was it in kilometers? I would just guess shorter rather than longer because tunnels are expensive and difficult. Yeah. Two point two. But like the answer choices could be anchoring us in a certain direction. Like what what is short versus long? Right. Yes. Other answer choices are made up by somebody who knows the answer. <laughs> And this faith, so she could easily have done that to us. Um, but yeah, I, don't know. I'm, I have no reason to believe it's any one of them <laughs> over any other. <clears throat> Who's got a guess? I don't know. No idea. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, How big was Tokyo in 1927? I think it was a D4. <laughs> It was very well, so we go with should we go with shorter and go with a? Yeah, I see no reason not to. <laughs> 1940s first freeway open to vehicle traffic. Okay, does it start with the Pasadena? Uh, Pasadena, that's yeah, Pasadena. They didn't call it the Pasadena, right? No, but they did name it with the Pasadena. That was the first freeway in Los Angeles, it was just that's called right. Pasadena. Pasadena. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yep, uh, we need to go back to four. Stop signs on the on ramps. Stop signs on the on ramps. We need to go back to number four. The Vatican officially recognizes Israel by opening diplomatic relations in what year? Mm. Um, well, it would have been what maybe it was like after World War II. Like, like it has to be. 
Yeah, I mean, like, oh, like yeah. that would be the monumental kind of because it was, that would be 48. 1955. When 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 was Israel declared a nation? 1948. 48. Okay. Um, if you pick 53, then you've got uh, anywhere from 48 to uh, 58. It might have been because it's a five year plus or minus. So maybe 54, but, 55. But when, why would the Vatican, it might have taken, taken the Vatican longer for uh, political reasons. So I'm looking, I'm thinking like Vietnam, like post Vietnam. Oh, even later, huh? Like yeah, even Catholic later. Maybe. I mean, it's not like the, Catholic, the Catholic Church has really been fast at doing anything. I know. I'm thinking it's going to be slower than we're thinking. 1973, 1974. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So, Faith, we're on our last answer. Okay. How's, how's everybody else? Roughly getting around there. This is a lot harder than it would be for people. What does that say about us, Faith? Huh? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go, I, I would vote to go a little bit later on the Vatican and Israel. If we pick 65, then well, they get to 60, 60 to 60, 70. So, but the Vietnam War. Okay, so you're talking about the Israeli War 60, 67, 67. 67. Maybe after that. After that. <clears throat> because that would, it would take the Catholics that long to understand the inhumanity of things. You want to go seventy a minute? The Nazi. <laughs> oh no, Vietnam. Oh no, we've got to burn everything. How we collaborated with the Nazis? That's I know, right? Okay, so I think it's going to be earlier than that. I think you're looking you know, at the fifties. Really? I think so. Oh, too. Yeah. All right, I'll go, I'll I'll go with you guys, but I'm just. I, I, yeah, that's okay, but I'm just feeling like. How about 55? I'd say, I'd guess 55, yeah. Okay. That way you have 50 to 60. All right. So and then can you just say the last name again on number five, the serial killer? Bathory, B A T H O R Y. Oh, I only have one letter off. Gosh. No idea. I, I oh. never, never heard of that person. All I right. would never pull that name out of any orifice yeah. on my body. Sorry. <laughs> the answers I have. Yeah, no, no chance would that have happened. The answers I have are 750 B, December 14th, 1955, Elizabeth Bathory, Hubble, New York, Yugoslavia, A, and Pasadena. Okay. How do y'all feel about that? Not bad. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> We're not talking about Goebbels, at least. Did you guys get the Goebbels answer? What did you put for Goebbels? We, I thought it had something to do with Polish independence. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? That the, the song, that, that Beethoven's <laughs> song had to do with Polish independence. It I thought... Was, it was um, dedicated to the independence of Poland, and consequently, oh. the Nazis, 100 years later, would not have been... Uh, pleased about that i thought it was the let's go brandon of the nazi era <laughs> and that the and that the 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 you know the rebels against the nazis were walking <laughs> in the streets going dun, 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 dun. and then and then when the nazis heard let's go that, brandon. they're like saying let's yeah. go like fuck off you know and so that's why yeah. they what are you it. talking about the you know about the let's go brandon no Oh gosh! Wow, this know super you know. brilliant person <laughs> shocks me when he doesn't know something. Just <laughs> okay, was it a hawk? What? No, it was. It wasn't hockey. It was a, a race, race car. car. Race car. Okay, so there were NASCAR. NASCAR. There's a NASCAR. I I don't know what what you call them, like a NASCAR race, and um, <laughs> the the crowd was cheering, "Fuck Joe Biden." 
And they thought, and he was saying over and over, and they thought they were saying, let's go Brandon, who was one of the race car drivers. And so it just became, because the announcers were saying, oh, they're saying, let's go Brandon. That's not what they were saying. So that became a meme, like a hashtag. Right. Yeah, it was a reporter who was interviewing a driver named Brandon. And it's he's like, said, oh, oh we were let's go Brandon. He, 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 uh, they were saying, let's go Brandon. And they weren't. They weren't. <laughs> question. <laughs> What's so now, a hashtag? <laughs> Jamie, are you there? Help Jamie, him. He's downstairs. Jamie, please protect him. Please help him. My lord. Are you kidding? No. Oh, okay. Hashtag. Number sign. <laughs> okay, you know the number sign that used to be the number on your phone, like the number sign on your phone? You mean a pound it's sign? Pound sign. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you use that do you have social media probably not right i don't much use it no well when you want to tag something in social media for people to follow it are you making me answer this and you already know no okay so you want someone to follow it you put a hashtag in front of what you write and then it pulls that in it kind of mines that hashtag with everybody else who's tagged that and so it puts it in, it takes it to a place where you can look at all the the thoughts about that particular hashtag. So they had a hashtag, um, uh, it was FJB, but it was, but that was for that, for, to, for the um, let's go Brandon stuff. So that was the hashtag. It was a way of getting away from not saying the word. Fuck. But it's also, but it's also to also gather, different. like you can hashtag, like we can hashtag skeptics mm -hmm. or something on Twitter. And so anyone else that hashtags something about the, about skeptics it'll go into that feed yeah so you could read about what's what's trending right now yeah whatever so, and if you trending. want something that you're writing about to go into that feed you know like i'll hashtag youth mental health and it'll go into this whole com another whole conversation about youth mental health and i can see what other people are saying about that topic mm -hmm. so ah. very well done good job Lord. thanks hashtag hang on let me overthink this. <laughs> I use hashtags quite a bit, but it's usually on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Okay, are we done? Yeah. Very interesting. Did you guys know that today is Bacon Day? Bacon Day is Bacon Day. Bacon day. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I actually posted Wait, a picture. No, it's Bacon Day, like, you know, what you put in a frying pan. But National Bacon Day. So I, I put up on Facebook today a, a picture of Sir, Fran, Sir Francis Bacon and put it's better to it's better to honor the father of empiricism <laughs> than, a slab, than a slab of fat. Um, <laughs> I was gonna tag I was gonna tag you on that, Susan. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't know it was I didn't know it was bacon day. That's one That's what we should have named our team. Today is Bacon Day. Yeah, today is Bacon Day. Oh, go, no. go Francis. Let's go, Francis. <laughs> go Bacon. <laughs> oh God. Okay. What else do you want to know, Caspian? <laughs> do you have any other questions for Mrs. Butterworth? I think I'm good right now. You know what, what Mrs. Butterworth questions? is? Do you know what Mrs. Butterworth is? Isn't that a syrup? Right. Yeah, check this out. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, wait, I got to find. No, I don't do this. Hold on. I don't, I've got the wrong thing. I gotta... Here I am. Here I am. There she is. <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth. What's it say on the other side? Oh, we'll be, her sweetness will be right back. Got to go part of the cakes. That's oh, very nice. <laughs> That's very cute. See, my last name is actually Butterworth, and I'm married to Mr. Butterworth. So, guess what? Okay. Hashtag sweetness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hashtag Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, I wonder what you, that would pull up. I know. Oh, God. oh God. I don't think you want to do that. Do you remember yeah. the thing with Mike Pence? <laughs> When oh. um, you know when he was saying that he would never be in a, a room alone, yeah, yeah. Oh. There was this whole meme about him having breakfast with Mrs. Butterworth. Mrs. Butterworth, I remember that. 
<laughs> and everybody was sending it to me. They're sending it to me like, oh, are you having are you having breakfast with Mike Pence today? <laughs> mother, mother. Oh. I I met a Republican in the parking lot. Who oh, 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 I I know. oh, are you guys good? Oh, yeah, we're good. What the we're heck? So good. Okay. I mean, why is that Pence. about burning? Pence for president? I know. I oh, no, there phrase, was though. I met a Republican was... in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> he had that on his car. This was a couple it? years ago. And I commented about his bumper sticker and he gave me one. Wait, okay. that was a couple years ago. So he wanted to get rid of Trump. He wanted uh -huh. Pence. And wanted Pence. So he wanted well, him before, yeah, he didn't before January 6th. He didn't want Pence or not, but he definitely wanted to get rid of Trump. Oh, and, so that's and so that's how he stated it. Because oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I well, thought it was kind well, of maybe they were the, he was out for the 25th Amendment. I met a Republican in the parking lot. Pence <laughs> met a Republican in the parking lot. You should see him now. Lori just had to explain hashtags to Caspian and, and she also explained to him what let's go Brandon meant. <laughs> Wait, Jamie's got that look on her face like she doesn't know what let's go Brandon. I means. barely know what let's go Brandon. Oh my means. goodness. You I don't have hashtag? it on the internet anymore. And when I did, it was never in those corners. It's just how do you miss that stuff? It's Easy. All over. You don't go there. Well, if they talk to about it all the time. You're not on, on Twitter, news. you don't go there. Well, I'm hardly on Twitter. I don't know. Anyway, good job, everybody. Okay. Pretty good. It is pretty good. I like that. Pretty good. Where is where is he? Oh. Oh, oh he's the pencil ball. drawing. Somebody talking about Lucy Ball. <laughs> it looks like it. everybody's back now. Sporting in I just heard a really Karen, interesting. You poem can by talking about was the um, fascinating horror. Just for the record. Mm. Okay. All right, Dave. We're back. Disaster. And okay. we're back. All right. <clears throat> All right. So number one. True. So the first television um, in today's dollars would be. I, I have to go back and look. You said in. You said no, you didn't no, no, mean no. today's dollars. I know. Dollars. I know. I'm telling you what it is. I think in today's dollars, it was about $9,000. <gasps> oh, so, but it was, it actually retailed back um, then um, as 1K. So if you got oh, yes, oh, around $1,000. Wow. Um, oh, wow. Apparently hey, RCA Kevin. rushed these TVs out and sent like a handful of televisions to their top performing stores just to get them on the shelves before they actually made them massively available um, to other people because Believe it or not, back then, why they wanted to get this out was because of the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, oh, that makes sense. The Super Bowl. Yes. Today yes. would be the Super Bowl. Didn't start then. That's what they were saying hmm? in the oh, article I read. <laughs> the Super Bowl didn't, well, didn't start exist back 60s. then. That would that would have been the first one, like 1963 or so. Yeah, yeah but this is 1953. But it might have okay. been some sport event. It was probably, probably the championship, maybe. Super Bowl. Probably. Yeah. Maybe okay. a boxing game. Uh, or something. Yeah. It makes World sense. Theory. So number two, all of these TV shows actually came out in 1963. I knew it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh. the one that debuted on December 30th was Let's Make a Deal. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, team. Yay. I was right. He said, he said, let's make a deal. And they said, right, nope. No. We went back and forth between that and Patty oh, Duke. Oh, Vincent. Yeah. And Patty Duke was too big of a star. Thank you, Karen. Patty Duke, so I think, came I out in April vote. of that year. Right. I, Why would they have mm -hmm. that cutting edge technology with the split screen come out in a piss poor time? Mm -hmm. of <laughs> My only argument was the kids are out of school during, you know, mm -hmm. vacation. Today. So number three, I threw in a lot of hints in the question because <laughs> there was a lot of like really weird, like um, it actually occurred on December 17th. Oh, yay. Uh, because of the old yeah. calendar because the <laughs> Julian calendar was 13 days behind the Gregorian calendar and I just thought it was really funny that they adopted the newer calendar exactly like 13 months like February of 19 
uh, 21, I believe, or whichever the date was. That's funny. We have another ca a question about. The I wonder if Rob got that one or right. Or 1917, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in the, the kitchen. So much data there. It confused me. I didn't know what the hell the answer was supposed to be. You're an engineer. And You're supposed to do these things. Number four was actually interesting hearing you guys talk yourselves around of when this actually occurred. Um, spoiler alert, I was alive when this happened. Oh, no. So it was in 1993. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It took them that long before they recognized. Well, we, 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 we were trying to That's tell ourselves Pope. it was probably a lot later. For Who the was the Pope yeah. then? Uh, Pope John Paul II. Ah. Mm. Yes. Good. Well, John Paul died when I was... Um, like in 19, I think 2004, 2003. Wow. I would yeah. say I was in college at the time and I remember everybody crying and upset about it. Karen, I, remember when he, didn't you? I remember when he became Pope and when he died. It took a while for them to hide all the Nazi uh, um, stuff that they were involved in. They had to all the papers and stuff, you know. So 93. So number five is Elizabeth Bathory, Bathroy. All right, Caspian, uh, Jamie. She may or may not have you know, done anything. She may not have done anything. Uh, there is some <coughs> speculation that this was all kind of a giant witch hunt to get the, her <coughs> land and her money from her because she had been widowed for many years. Um, but mm. Wikipedia wow. says it's up to speculation. Will you accept uh, as an answer, Ghislaine Maxwell? Not <laughs> <laughs> accept Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh, Baskin? That was Carol Baskin. No, no, I will not accept Carol fucking Baskin as an answer. <laughs> so number six, some of you got this. Um, I would think it'd be obvious if it was in um, with the there being more galaxies than our own because there was a telescope named after him that took galaxy pictures. It was Edwin Hubble. All right, Cassie. Yes. Yay, Kyle. Mm -hmm. So. Now, I just want to say for number seven, here it comes. Kyle, I hope you really, really do know your history. Hold on. Oh, no. It was Chicago. We got it right, though. We actually got it right. Yes. I was thinking Chicago, and then we. It was Chicago. I didn't even mention it. Uh, it was Chicago. No. I, was I, didn't uh, yeah. I guess yeah. I heard and it. I got a hand type it now. Is, is Chicago in New York? No, Chicago <laughs> is in Illinois. It's a very <laughs> remote <laughs> suburb. <laughs> ah. <laughs> New Yorkers, Chicago is in. New York. Ah, I misspelled. The Chicago. whole U.S. is a suburb of New York. Chick Thankfully, they overrode <laughs> me. We got it. Chick go. Yes, I misspelled it because I'm trying to do too many things at once. That's the authentic yes. spelling. Yes, yes, because yes, Kyle was saying he confidently said at the beginning of this when I was in the room that he knows everything about Chicago's disasters and it cannot be Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> and then we said, well, because the other one, everybody thinks of the big fire, no one's thinking of Chicago. Yes. And we voted on Chicago and Pittsburgh. Yep. Chicago won. So number eight, I heard a lot of people say Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. You were very, oh, yeah. very close. <sighs> USSR. But you just needed to go a little bit further in the other direction. It was the USSR. Oh. Yay! Oh. Oh. Can you oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. So number nine, it was fascinating hearing you guys try to rationalize like how far this would be. Um, but consider the time of when this place was built, 1927. There wasn't a lot of infrastructure, probably a lot of confidence. Uh, the correct answer is B, 2.2 oh, kilometers. Yes. Right. Good observation, yes. Kyle. Yes. I blame the dice. Oh, well. E4. <laughs> and That's for now. It's only 0.3 kilometers difference, like a few degrees Fahrenheit. So who knew, who knew that? <laughs> I thought of being, well, thought of being mean a, about it, but. There's a space missing between the 2 and the KM. And that's the only reason we picked it. Okay. Oh <laughs> my God. Uh, I have to say, estimate. It looked wow. different. You mean, like, oh. if you rounded it to two kilometers, you would not know which one was correct. Right. Yeah. Is the problem. Like, yeah. that makes it really hard to get if yeah. you didn't know it. Yeah. That's really interesting that you guys looked at the formatting of the question. <laughs> like, one of those is a copy and paste. Okay. Uh -huh. And number 10, 
Um, a couple of you groups got it right, um, but it was originally called, I want to, I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly, um, the Arroyo Seco Parkway yeah. or Pasadena Freeway. Yay! Uh, Arroyo Seco is right down the street. Well, but why is street. it numbered 110 if it was the first road? It's the first freeway, but not all highways are freeways. Yeah. PCH Pacific Coast Highway 1 was also called the Roosevelt Highway, but it's not a freeway. There's there's light. <laughs> Wait, did the word the get in there, sneak in there? The, that, the Arroyo okay. Seco, the 110, the Pasadena Freeway. The five. 110 is California. Again, make fun of that. I get on the 110 and then hook up with the five. The further confusion, <laughs> whether or not it's like, the 110 or Highway 110, depends on where in California you're from. That's right. Interstate sure. 110. <laughs> you're not from California. Or even I 110. You guys are weird. Okay, so we're going for a score. Yeah, here in St. Louis, it's either Highway 40 or Highway 64. Let's just say the number. 95, you know, yeah, we can say the number. 195, 395. If you're in LA, you put California the word different cities. Yeah. So if you put, we're ready for this course. So if you put the in front of it, you're from your LA. Okay. That in LA, they personify, person, personal, pers anthropomorphic. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the Saturday Night Live did a show called The Californians. How the many syllables? All they did was a joke about that. Antra I, mean, I will accept before the before. Antra, antra before. <laughs> oh, team name, team name next week. Antra yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I can't say that either. <laughs> antra 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 team name. I know it's a word. I know it's my auntie chamber. Antra. Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. That's going to be the morning next week. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> <laughs> make it look like it's a human kind of thing. You give it humanistic uh -huh. characteristics. Uh -huh. There you go. All right, go for the scores now. So let's see. It's almost tied. Let's hope this broke it up a little bit. Sure it did. Okay, let's go with um, uh, mine's more expensive because that was Faith's team. Three. Oh, oh no. what the hell? <laughs> We're not the ones who made up the questions. <laughs> the curse. The scores. The curse. The score. All That's right. A, so it's a resolution free 2022. Four. Wow. Wow. I was feeling shitty, but we didn't do too yeah, bad, team. <laughs> if you suffer from moderate to severe pullage, you may be entitled to in compensation. The side effects were good. It's a nine. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh, damn! Oh, oh, no. No. Four nine, nine, eight, nine, Two. Uh oh. No. no. Oh, I feel wow. better than my three now. Oh man! Okay. <laughs> yes, it's the trivia zone. Six. Six. It's six. Ah. Wow, look at that! Oh, wow. Oh, you're losing wow. Dang. That got some spread. Alan. Newman, Karen, Kevin, Paula, and Kyle were on this team. They got nine. Dang. We wow. we guessed on three of them. Oh man, that's sad. Three guesses. <laughs> what one didn't you get? Four. Uh, the um, Israel. Oh, the Israel. Ah. Recognized by um, the Vatican. Vatican. Wow. And, and we had mentioned the year and just changed it, so we, we voted ourselves out of it. Later, oh. Two dates, thirty years apart. If there had been more time, we would have like got a lower days. number. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we almost talked ourselves talk out, about out of it. Chicago, Chicago, huh? They were debating Chicago for a really long time. So Paula I, held your ground. I will. I will note mm. that the uh, the the Polich team, Polich, Polich team, Polich. has Pol has. Has the trend seven, eight, and nine, and uh, my team has eight, seven, six. <laughs> Going in the opposite direction. Uh, Anti-correlated. Yes. If you have a maybe we're it. maybe we're quantumly entangled. We don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice, spooky. We exactly. okay, already Peggy's observed up. it. Never mind. Oh, You've observed it. Okay, Peggy. 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 All right, it's a little rough because I haven't refined it because I wasn't expecting to present. But tonight's trivia is we're about to hit 2022. This is all about 1922. <gasps> Do you all right, Jordan, Jordan's going to bed. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. It's a bye. 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 Bye.
Good night. Wow. Good night. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, this is really good. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen twenty-two. Um, I'm sorry. I'm having a meltdown. What a here. date question tonight. Yeah. I wonder if it has something. A hundred years ago. They called it the Roaring Twenties. When they look back at this time, they call it the Snoring Twenties. What the fuck? Everyone's in bed. Oh. So number number one. What's the category? Uh, Two thousand nineteen oh, twenty-two trivia. I, I know it. it was a long time ago, though. So I apologize. <laughs> oh. um, so the who, first question is: Who's, who's muting everybody? Who, wait a minute. Who's muting? Who's got the power? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I will. Hold it. Uh, I was asleep. Mute all. Boom. Thank you. Yeah, I want to mute all. And now Peggy needs to unmute. <laughs> all right. Go. I'm unmuted now. I think. Yeah, you are. All right. So the first question was, who is the president of the United States in 20, 1922? Did that could you show up in the chat? Yep. All right. So the next question is, oops, oops. here we go. I did it. Again. Oh, there you are. The next one is, who is the monarch of Great Britain in 1922? And you have to be specific. You have to bring yourself right here right now. Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's not attractive. <clears throat> Number three, the 1922 World Series featured the New York Yankees versus the New York Giants. So who won? Ooh. Come on, enter. There you are. And going back to word copy number four what comic television and film actress and advocate for animals who is still alive at least the last i checked today <laughs> was born in oak park illinois on january 17th 1922 Susan thinks she knows it. I know this one. I know one. It wasn't you, was it, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't age. I never age. I just change my hair color. And number five, what was the top selling car in Reading the question, Carl, your cat looked like the shadow of a dinosaur, but I'm like, <laughs> perfect timing when I glanced up. 1922 is considered to be a golden year in publishing, having a number of legendary works published that year. What classic written by an Irish author was first published in its entirety in 1922 and in which the plot takes place in a single day? Number seven, a team headed by Howard Carter and Lloyd Carnarvon, Carnarvon discovered what archaeological site on November 4th, 1922? Carnarvon, it's pronounced. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Not in California. <laughs> Not in Monterey County. We say it differently. Lords, we don't pay lords no tensions. Uh, May 30th, 1922, which one of the large memorials in Washington, D.C. was dedicated? And number nine, on an uncertain date in 1922, the Molly Pitcher Club was formed to promote the repeal of what? I want to say pictures. 
can't repeal those pictures. <laughs> Damn pictures. Or Mary's. <laughs> there were two species of apex predators that became extinct in the wild in 1922. One was the Barbary lion with the last killed in Morocco. And the other was what species in California? Ooh. Questions? This looks really good. Well, they're easy, I think, but. Oh yeah, you know the answers. Yeah, they're easy for me. <laughs> I'm gonna open all rooms. How about Dallas? I... Does Dallas think they're easy? Uh, no, he's, he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Especially our dancer if you're asleep. Yeah, they are. Okay, kids, have fun. Hi, team. Hello, Hello Susan. You know one? Uh, maybe. What's it, what's it with the acorns? I'm in, in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's called the City of Oaks. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, here we go. President of the United States. 1922, U.S. Eisenhower? No. No, no, he's he's much oh. later. He's in the 50s. Oh. 22. Yeah. Can I well, ask Caspian? Wilson. <laughs> this is right after World War One. Yeah. This uh, Wilson was in World War One, so it was after Wilson. Taft? No, I don't know. No. Oh God, I can't believe I don't know this answer. I will be disowned by Caspian. Um, maybe it'll come to me in a minute. Sure. Okay, number two, who, who's the monarch of Great America? Okay, so this would have been, oh geez, another one. I think that was like, because Edward was the guy that uh, abdicated, right? And then David, David, uh, yeah, but that was that was during World War II. Yeah, so the one was, who abdicated, um, so 1922. So it might have, and George was the one that uh, came after the one that abdicated. Well, George IV and, was the father, and he was, George IV was in, he was World War II. So George, wait, let me think a second. His father. His father was okay he's the guy who had the, the speech problems with george the fourth and george the third it might have been george the third wait it wouldn't be george the third george the third was from was the guy we fought the revolution against so who was right before george the fourth it wasn't a woman. Victoria was in the Victorian age, which would have been the 19, early 1900s. 19... I think it's George, but I don't know. If but George IV is the guy who had the speech problem, remember? Oh, he was, yeah. He was World that War II. Right. And they portrayed yeah, that as uh, the so, King's speech. Yeah. So I think it, it, it might have been his grandfather. Or, hmm. Yeah. But what was his name? Edward? Because the, there's been a lot of Edwards, so it might be Edward. Right. Well, and, yeah. and it's, especially since it says be specific, we definitely need to have one of, like it's one Edward of the, the Fourth. Yeah, it's one whatever. of those ones with a common name. So yeah. it might be Edward the Edward. Okay, Bertie. Bertie was the son of Queen Victoria, and Bertie didn't last too long. And after, and he was around when when uh, Bertie was right after Jack the Ripper, when that was a big deal. And that was, Bertie was Albert, is his real name, but I think he reigned as Edward the Fourth, and his son was George the Fourth? But George IV, I thought, was the guy who did the speech, had the speech impediment in World War II. Oh, my God. I can't believe I don't know this. All right. Well, we'll come back to it. You got to come okay. back. 50-50 on, 
the baseball. What do you think? Well, we got a 50-50 shot. What do we say, Yankees or Giants? Giants, maybe. No. I mean, if we're going based upon who had more World Series wins, it'd be the Yankees because they've had a crap load. But I don't yeah, know if it's one of those this may be the one. Them. This may be one of the noteworthy occasions. Right. Okay, so number four is Betty White. Yep, I completely agree. Because I know she's turning 100. So and she's I'm about right. to have a party, big party. So the top yep. selling car in 22 is at the Model T. I'm guessing. In any Model color T. that you wanted, as long as it is black. Sounds right. Um, oh, this is F. Scott Fitzgerald with this, the Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. Six. Yeah. And Tutankhamen was number seven. So she's asking kind of two questions. And which one? On number six. And which plot takes place in a single day? Oh. Or, oh, wait, no. I think that's part of the. the in oh, which the plot? The oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great Gatsby. Yeah, the great Gatsby took place Gatsby. in a single day. Yeah. Um, I don't know number eight. No idea about nine. I mean, do we think it's like the. When was the Washington Monument? Okay. That was in the 19th century. Could it have been about 100 years that the Washington Memorial? It's something that's about to have its 100th anniversary. What's anybody have an idea what the 100th anniversary would be? Anybody seen anything in the news about? No. I mean, they're trying to finish I, it for the 100th anniversary of the. Like most memorials are uh, after night, like uh, about stuff that happened after 1922. And I think the Washington. Monument is like the 19th century. So the only one I can think of is like either maybe the Thomas Jefferson one or the Lincoln Memorial. Either of those is fine with me. I think more likely Lincoln was. Yeah. But I'm surprised we haven't seen any announcements. Maybe it's late. No, May. Well, maybe in May we're going to start seeing a bunch of announcements. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so we're thinking Lincoln over uh, I think Jefferson. So. Okay. Molly Pitcher Club. That couldn't have been alcohol, could it? Prohibition. Yeah, twenty-two. Is that right? Yeah, it could be. Yes, that sounds right. Even I think I know that one. In twenty-two, I thought that's whenever they had prohibition. Yeah, no, I think oh, maybe. Hmm. Mm. I don't know about the ten. Okay, let me think about this. I think that one was the um, dodo bird. No. No. Okay, I'm going to write down my kings and queens. Better. You guys talk amongst yourself for a wasn't, second. Wasn't the dodo bird? No. Mm. Not in the 19, 1920s. Mm. And also not in California. That was in uh, 18. In South America. I used to know that. 18. And it's also an apex predator, it says, so it can't be like the dodo bird because they were prey. Yeah, they were definitely prey. 18, 18. Oh. Okay, Birdie died. Yeah. Let's see. So the Barbary lion, the last kill in Morocco. Could it have been Orange. a kind of eagle? More Some sort like of cougar or something like that? I mean, the cougar's still around. I'm trying to think if it could have been either a, a large feline or a large canid, and I'm just blanking on a little bit. Like, was there a wolf species that was hunted to extinction? Hmm. And dire wolves were a thing before, but I don't know. I don't think so. May. Oh, okay. So I think it's George the Fourth, and that I think that the guy who has the speech impediment might be George the Fifth. I'm trying to, because I think it's George the Fourth, because he married uh, May of Teague, 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 Teague. married her. Yeah. And then, so they had George IV and George IV was a real disciplinarian kind of guy. And he had, George had those two boys, David 
and what's his name that ends up becoming George V, and David abdicates. And that would have been yeah. World War II. So I think that George the Fourth is the person who's king during the 22. But I don't know that for 100 percent sure, but that's how I would put. And the president of the United States would have been. Oh, yeah, we got to do this in 53 seconds. Okay. okay well, president. Harding. Uh, Harding. Taft. We're good with Taft. Wait, wait, George. Harding. Who? Harding. We're in Harding. I don't know. I could. I, I can only think. Either. He was having. We got 30 seconds. So I we know, gotta no, pick I know. something now. We just got to pick. Taft, we got to put something down. The Taft. Yeah. I don't okay. I'm embarrassed that I don't know. If this. the time runs and out and we have nothing, we definitely wolf. get it. Dire wolf. Oh, yeah. Some sort of wolf. Yeah. Um, uh, desert wolf. God, I'm embarrassed. I don't know these. Yeah. I don't think it's Wilson. Wait, no, Wilson's much later. No, Wilson. Well, he was before World War World War One. Oh, it might be the Red Wolf. Okay, let's go right. with Taft. <gasps> Jane hey. is crownless. Huh? Jane what? is haloless. Oh, she took off her coronavirus thing. She's been deposed. She's healed. She's not. She's hey, been hey, I think I'm going to be really embarrassed by. The it was pinch, it was pinching my head. Oh. <laughs> what, did, what did you say, Susan? I Suffering for beauty. Embarrassed because some of the easiest questions, I really couldn't think of what it would be. Oh, not Faith. I meant Peggy. Oh. <laughs> oh. A century ago. All right. Not yet. All right. Slideshow from beginning. Can you guys see the slideshow? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very yep. All right. Oh. Oh, very good. That's actually number one, but says number two. I apologize. That's why this is a rough version. I haven't had a chance to look at it all. Boo Harding. Number two. Oh. Middle number two is George, George the, the fifth. fifth. I said the fourth. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, you, you guys. I, you were missed it by that much. Oh, I, I, I wrote it all down. I was trying to get Can it all down. Plus or minus I. Can we get a plus or minus, <laughs> minus I? <laughs> No, plus or minus. Prince Regent, Susan. I got them all. Could I got them <laughs> number three? The Giants beat the Yankees. Good going. Yay. Was it four to oh. zero or was it five? It was a nine. It was four series. to zero, oh, but there was a tie game in this series. So it was really in a five-game series, but they had a tie, and then they did something to do away with ties because that was boring. <laughs> Yay. 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 Yay! She was Who did not get this one right. Wow. You know, she was a pinup girl on a deck of cards, and it's a collectible item. Ooh. Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, she was like the nine of hearts or something Hot like stuff. that. Literally, oh, got this one. literally just before the trivia, I was watching Hot in Cleveland starring Betty White. That's she a funny was so show. excellent, Mary Tyler Moore. Man, she was a little sex pot. It was hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you see the Sam Nevins. $319, guys. It's way you can less buy than three TV, TV sets. <laughs> yeah, really. Maybe that's the one thing cars have like gone crazy with prices compared to. Ooh, we got that one right. I think everybody got this one. Yeah. It just makes such we, pretty pictures. You missed number six. Yeah. yeah this is number yeah. seven. What was six? This is the book. The book. Oh, the oh, book is God. Ulysses. And I had, oh, here yeah. it is. Oh, is Ulysses? They were out of order. Sorry. Why banned? Perfect. I said I said it was um Greek Thank you, Paula. Team. Thank you, Paula. It's bad for the moral. <gasps> uh, Yay. Yay. If, if you have never seen the Lincoln Memorial at night, it is stunning. Try yeah, to. Yeah. Oh, Lincoln Memorial. You know, if you look at the Lincoln Memorial on the back of a penny and look real closely, you can see the tiny Lincoln inside it. Yep. Yeah, he's on both sides, heads and tails. I have a penny, penny that was given to me by well. Oh, wait, you have the back. I think everybody got prohibition. Yep. yep. But to repeal it. Oh, Karen gave me that penny and I don't I don't see it. Well, it's not a newer penny. It's gotta be oh, the one. It's an all female group, by the way. Before yeah, 92. Oh, believe. the grizzly. The mm. California grizzly, which is not <laughs> genetically, it was not exactly the same as the like race of the grizzlies that are left. So was it also known as the golden bear? No. So now I looked that up and I don't the golden bear is basically the cow mascot. Right. 
I'm sorry, team. It's okay. Well, you got bear. And the cow mascot was inspired by the California grizzly, but it doesn't so say it in this question. Name. Karen noticed as we we're going through these, a lot of these have to do with gold. Was that just coincidental? Yeah, unless okay. I have a thing for gold that I don't know about. <laughs> you know I'm looking at that. Really, the golden bear. The golden fleece for Ulysses. Ah, it pet. is the same thing. The California grizzly is also known as the California golden bear. Yeah, you, you can give yourselves credit for that. Thank you, Karen. I just received a donation <laughs> from you. <laughs> There's, there's my kids. Thank you. There's my kids at the Lincoln Memorial, and my little one thinks he's being funny. He pressed a penny to his head, and is he, he kept just like, No, this is like <laughs> he's magnetic. Two, this is from 2001. Aw, he's but in the military it, now. COVID yes. was around in 2001. <laughs> I didn't say COVID. Lincoln was around. Pennies were around in 2001. Yes. <laughs> well, he, pressed, more no, he pressed the penny to his head because it had Lincoln Memorial on the back. He thought it was funny. Very cute. Who is it? My son. The one who's in the little yellow shirt is the one who's in the army now. In the army. Yeah, he's 80. in Korea. He's a lieutenant. Second lieutenant. Mm. He played trivia with us once. Yeah, but your oldest is not vaccinated. I'm going to go smack him up. No, there. and you know what he said to me today? Ha ha, I'm the only one who didn't catch COVID and I'm not vaccinated. So my wife's had it, my son, other son has had it, and, and I've had it. I would, and he's I laughing would at us. Him. And I said, and when you get it, it's going to be really bad because he has asthma. I'm, I'm, oh, but he yeah. still refuses to take oh. it. And, and three or four people in my job have it right now. And he works with me. I would disown my child, to be honest. With you. I just owned my mother. It. No, you wouldn't, Susan. I just owned my mother because of it. She wants us to go to her Christmas party. I, I refuse to go. I don't want to be responsible for your death, is what I told her. Well, she's not vaccinated either? Nope. Her and her husband, they're 80s, and they're not vaccinated. They oh, won't do it. Oh, my God. And, and I even told them, my doctor told me his his mother got, got a vaccine because I asked him, oh, how can I convince her? Just tell him my mother got it. I played the video of the doctor. My mother just says, oh, no, I'm afraid of the side effects. Side effects? You're 86 years old. You're not going to live another 20 years. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lot I would have told my mom COVID. that. But... Oh, she, would about to, you. she would never live to be 100. I said, so what are you worried about the side effects for? Yeah, like he's worried about being infertile or something. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Uh, anyway. Oh, that's so sad, Kevin. I'm sorry to hear I know. that. I it, know. It, it is what it is. It's, it, me and my wife and my son are fine. My son's going through it now in, in Korea. But he, he, we talked to him on the phone. He's just coughing lightly. He's fine. Yeah, they're, they're fine because you're vaccinated. Exactly. <sighs> Thank you, Peggy. That was really fun. That was awesome. Wait, wait but I'm very embarrassed nice that I category. did so badly. I, uh, I said I was sure it was F, uh, Scott Fitzgerald. I'm really embarrassed. Sorry, team. I did say Irish, Susan. Well, Fitzgerald is pretty Irish. American, American Irish. Yeah, but so it's Fitzgerald like Boston American. Irish or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never been to Boston. <laughs> There's more Irish people in Boston than there are in Ireland. <laughs> all right. So here we go. More Jewish people in New York there's, than there are in Israel. There's yep. more people in my city than all of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's more expensive. Oh, we nine. get nine. Nine. Nice. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. Come back. Okay. Look, we're in the lead. You're in the first place. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Fortnite Stop the count. Stop service the count. disaster. Eight. No. Okay. Oh. Here's a team that here's Peggy's team. A new resolution free 2022. One. Six. Oh, sorry, team. <laughs> mm. Category four. Yes, it's the trivia yep. zone. Team yes, four. it's nine. Right. Well done. Wow. They hit 30. Okay. If you suffer from moderate to severe polish, polish you will maybe entitled <laughs> compensation. Believe it or not, it's a 10. Oh, oh no. 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 Yeah, we got seven, eight, nine, the 10. One. The next category, we will get 11. Oh. We got to get 11, 11. 8, 9, 10, 0. We're going to get an 11 in the bonus <laughs> round. Boy. That is to be 0 on the next one. Wow. Good hey, night, everybody. <laughs> Who's leaving? Good night. I'm saying good night. 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 Did we intimidate you out? 
<laughs> <laughs> well, they haven't quite lapped us yet, but they're okay. I'll, I'll yeah. miss her forehead. So here comes the word of mouth. I love like this, Karen. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Adrian. Peggy. So, yay, so Peggy. Her. Good job. Okay, so Adrian is on the screen somewhere. There she is. I, I don't recognize you because you have my background. <laughs> I do, yes. Come on. So, all yeah. right. So, we got some divisions here 34 to 23. Can, can you help us out? I don't know. Well, I tried to make it somewhat international. Uh, so we'll we'll see how everyone does. I, right? I think you know I'm going to do the Rob curse here. There's some that are really going to be easy, and some that may be a little trickier. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> you blew it now. Yeah, I, I blew it. So I am going to show you ten professional sporting leagues, and each professional sports organization below has a final championship series or game uh -huh. at the end of the season. State what each grand finale is called. Uh, sports ball. <laughs> Are you calling this category? Uh, if, if, Call it sports ball. Sports. Sports finales. Sports finales. Yeah. And <clears throat> here they are. And I've given you the abbreviation as well as the written out what each of them is. And there's some from the US, lots from the US, some from Canada and some from Australia. So there you go, or one from Australia. Oh my God. <laughs> Didn't know Alrighty. I was okay. Send us to our rooms before anybody says anything. All right. <laughs> um, did I send everybody to the room? Did I manage yeah. to do it? Yay. Hey, I'm going to go to your room, Adrian. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> I know you're not a sports person. I'm going to be such a big help. <laughs> Peggy, can you go? I ended up in the wrong room. Okay, so Sorry. I'm going to put you, where are you? I got to fling you somewhere. There you are. <laughs> fling, please. Move to. A good category. Peggy. Are you resolution free 2022? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Flinging you now. We got the championship. Hi, team. That's what we're waiting for. Hello there. PGA championship. Women to. Let's back. Let's start at the beginning again for Susan. Oh, oh yes, because I'm going to be of such help. I, I better. I better. Okay. I One was Super Bowl. Close. Two was Grey Cup. What was three? You don't know. No. Australian Football League? Yeah. Is it called the Dark Bears? WNBA, what was that? Five is a, uh, what is it? I mean, I would just say the WNBA Championship, I guess. I'm sure they have some fancy name for it. Um, Men's PGA is PGA Championship. <laughs> Isn't that the one that occurred and takes place in uh, Augusta? No, the Masters is not the championship. Oh, okay. It's the prestigious. It's one of their uh, majors, but. Okay. And the women's PGA championship? Sure. No, I mean, I, no, I mean that was a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the NHL, is, that's the Stanley Cup. Yeah. I got my I'm picture curious. taken at the Stanley Cup once. That Aww. was fun. They brought it to our office when I worked at Sports Illustrated. Oh. National Cricket Council. Don't know. World Series. World and Series. World Cup. Well, that's not, that's not, no, the World Cup is a different thing, but the World Cup is is major league soccer is just american so it wouldn't be world cup so again I was, major league soccer oh, okay. hmm. i would just say cup? whatever the thing is championship unless for the ones that we know that they're specific yeah 
Mm. So which ones are we missing? Three, four, Australian Football League, WNBA. I think, I mean, the NBA is the NBA championship. So, I mean, yeah. at this point, I would just say, except for the NFL is the Super Bowl, the CFL is the Grey Cup, and NHL is the Stanley Cup, and MLB is the World Series. I would just put whatever the thing is, space championship. Football championship, okay. soccer championship, women's. I, I, <laughs> unless anyone else has any idea. Is Bob scoring this? No, I don't. I mean, who's writing it down? I will. James, I, I'm, I'm kind of robotic right now robotically answer these questions bob the the australian is the uh is the fosters vegemite billabong wallaby drop bear vegemite league the veggie i don't know <laughs> i know the stanley cup in the world series i don't i know what do you do? i don't see how i don't see how people on the in the eastern time do it I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, we don't have regular Wait, trivia. We work. Uh, well, also, I've been I've been quarantined for the last week, so oh, that's true. Ow, ow! Don't scratch me. Ow, 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 ow. All right. I think we're too far behind anyway to to win. So yeah, I'm. I just. I can't. Before. I nothing's going to come to mind. So, and if some someone comes up with this brilliant idea, they oh. can just oh. private message me, and I'll say, "Ah, okay, I'll throw it in." Let's see if everybody's coming back already. Nope. That's nice having the uh, God powers. You can see, oh, man, this should hit back. Time to go. Yeah, something like that. You guys got something planned for New Year's? Uh, <laughs> sort of kind of a party. We're going to a bigger party on, well, let me, party of 10 on um, Saturday daytime. Working. Are you coming back? You said that you had been quarantined. So when are you yeah, come today back? Today is my last day of, of isolation. So I can start working tomorrow. So I go to work at 11 p.m. tomorrow to work all night. Who? And do you think you're going to go with family to go celebrate New Year's? Because we had such a wonderful 2021. Mike's going to be working all night. Oh, my God. Hi, Adrian. How's it going? Horrible. Uh-oh. You, you've, Sorry, team. well, teams are struggling yeah you know, there's, there's like five easy ones and five mm -hmm. yeah but again i think that this are all there's the international cricket council championship the mls championship well, he's got the vegemite league the WNBA the vegemite championship. It's, it's the fosters the, the pga league. championship yeah bob's got it fosters vegemite the WPGA <laughs> championship. <laughs> it's a drop bear. They don't all have fancy names for their championships. No. Well, I'm going to sell them this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call Australia. Listen, I don't, I don't know what you call this thing now, but here you go. <laughs> Here's what you you call guys it. get the golf ones? Oh, it was just the PGA Championship. Don't say anything. Oh, she's got that evil look. Like, oh, man. Because. Well, I've ever heard. What's the Ryder Cup? I know that. Pro-Am. Is there something called a Pro-Am? Am I making something the up? The Ryder Cup is a uh, golf match between teams from the U.S. and England. Okay, but it's... Uh... It's a not. It's not a. Yeah. It's not a championship. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just a trick. It's the NAL are just blah 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 championship. Aside from the Super Bowl, the uh, the Grey Cup. The Australian football probably has something, but I don't I have no idea what it is. The Aussies on our uh, in our game here will probably know. Even if they're not sports fans, they probably know just a little bit about it. Yeah. Did we give ourselves a point for Grizzly Bear? Yes. I did because of our discussion we had before we left. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, <laughs> we don't know if it's a species. It sounds like a subspecies. Yeah, it was. So yeah. It, it's it's kind of technically the subspecies is extinct, but the species is not. Correct. Right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they're genetically different. Well, how much? Could they breed with the other grizzlies? I'll bet. Mm-hmm. And the question was two, two species of apex predators, mm-hmm. not subspecies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So I was generous. Mm-hmm. Well, see, yeah. Species is so, it's, it's almost an imaginary differentiation because some yeah. you got ring species where the they can't breed at one end, but they can breed with everybody else all the way back around. And, yeah. And, and yeah, just mm-hmm. weird things with different numbers of chromosomes can breed. Right. They're not species. It's yeah. weird. Been well, videos. good luck, guys. Hopefully, uh... we, get, we got at least five. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. Next step. I'll do uh, one of these times. I'll do well, we uh, at least four. What species can what what subspecies can uh, breed? <laughs> so category, I got it, James. And these two animals make a baby. Ooh. Yes. Or can they make a baby that it actually have other babies? Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go back and stress on the other. So we have Super Bowl, Grey Cup, AFL Championship. WNBA championship, PGA championship, WPGA championship, um, Stanley Cup. Cup, World Series, ICC championship, Super World Series, and the MLS championship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go back. All right. I'm going to go and just. See if it hurries the evening at all. Good job, guys. I'm going to call everybody back. That's all right. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm reading about Goebbels' children. (laughs) His his two stepsons that outlived him. Mm. Very, very wealthy family. Mm. Their uh, Goebbels' stepson, his daughters inherited what we consider about $6 billion right now. Six billion. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. they they have it now. Yeah, it's a very wealthy family. I didn't mm-hmm. have a clue. Um, Where did he get his money other than stealing BMW. it? BMW. Oh well. And they also had they shares in BMW, and they had uh, a textile company. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So they're the German industrialist. B- oh. oh, Atlanta Chemicals. A L T A N A. Yeah, I I heard something about this recently, and it made me think of it when we were talking about Goebbels. And Is there any Nazi gold that figured into that? I don't think so because I don't know. Have you seen the Nazi zombie movie? The well, Nazi it's, what? 
You got to um, be more specific. Oh than gosh, it's the one where they ha- <laughs> it's, there's the one where there's hidden Nazi gold underneath the cabin, and like these Norwegian kids go out to it and they accidentally have move the Nazi gold. Dead snow. Dead, dead snow. snow. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. yes, dead snow. <laughs> and then so, uh, what's what's the one where they build oh, a secret moon base? Deutsche Iron Bay. Sky. Yes. Iron Sky. Yeah. <laughs> I Which love that. I thought that's hilarious. Now. So, so guys, he ended up uh, becoming one of the work, serving on one of the boards of a very famous German bank, Deutsche Bank. That is the a one that loaned bank. Trump all that money. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, who are we talking about? Oh, one of Bobel's bank. stepsons. When he had two stepsons that out that yeah. survived him, his wife's well, sons, that he, his sons wife before murder. Yeah, that they didn't murder he because he was off in the war. Why is it so hot? So yeah, Deutsche Bank. I knew there was something. I think it came up somewhere in some podcast or some videos watching. They were talking about this link to something that's happening right now. I wonder if it had something to do with the you know who it might have been? Rachel Maddow. I bet you that's who it was. She's really good at making those connections. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this and this to tell a story. She tells wonderful stories. Anyway, I'm sorry, Adrian, you're at not a problem. I just so, couldn't. Yeah. I've been thinking about it all night. <laughs> Some yeah, interesting discussions going on. I think everybody, if anybody got this first one wrong, I, yeah, it was Super Bowl, nice and easy, and. Uh, most of you, I think everybody got the second one wrong, though there were some spelling issues. So, uh, you know, I was wondering if I should mark for spelling, but I won't. Good it's EY. A, it is it's EY. EY. It's an EY. Oh, it is but the great cup. It's EY in the US. It's AY. Yeah. It's yeah. the great cup. Then saying you're supposed to know that one. So, why is it called that? <laughs> right. Canadian people, did, but why, we why is it called that? Thank God we did. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. I, uh, it's, it's just uh, always been that. Uh, there was, uh, uh, I think it was. So like it was like the Lord Stanley. There was a gray. He was that or was it Earl Gray? Person's <laughs> name. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah. Remember yeah. A for American, E for English. Yeah. I like After that. the ball oh. rug, it's the white. Well, card. it should have been G R E H. Gray. Gray. <laughs> That's gray? Gary. Gray. And the next, Remember. the next one for the Australian Football League. Those of you in the Australian Psychic Prediction Project, we covered this quite a bit. So. <laughs> I never paid attention. To it. Never. I knew we did, and I still couldn't remember it. I had no yes, idea. and I think Richard's team was the only one that got it right, which is not mm-hmm. surprising. But it's really fun because it's not just called the grand finale; it's also called the Granny, the GF, or the Big Dance, from <laughs> according to Wikipedia. You sure wasn't the Vegemite Bowl? <laughs> yeah. That's what, the bowl. what about Footy Final? I like there her answer. Better. Just <laughs> Grand Final. Just Up Grand there, Final. <laughs> the Wallaby Cup. The Wallaby <laughs> Cup. <laughs> I came up with uh, the Foster's Vegemite Billabong Wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. You got a little into it. You really got involved. A lot of sponsors over there. Wait, wait, was it, is it the Thunderdome? Oh, boy. And for the Women's uh, National Basketball Association, what's really interesting is the NBA and the Women's National Basketball Association have the same name, which is just the playoffs or the finals. Either one is acceptable. Oh, That's yes. It. Well, would you say, I mean, can you say you the WNBA championship or the uh, the uh, NBA, NBA championship? championship? Yeah, I mean, I did find some stuff like that. In fact, the Women's National Basketball Association does now have, it started, I think, in 2021 with a championship that's sort of mid-season, um, but it's not the final end one. But yeah, I'll be okay with the championship as well. Uh, <laughs> or not. Would you would you accept WNBA final? Yes. Yes. Yes, that is, that right. is one right. of the ones I listed right there. All right, all right, good. Yeah, the final oh, is... Sorry. Yeah, I'm playoffs or finals are the two that I found, and I did find some that said championship, though. Yeah, so right. I will be quite uh, lenient with that because it's the same as the NBA. They didn't work on and the branding. So yeah. Canadian. <laughs> so, 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 she's so, so Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> now, this next one I'm not going to be quite so lenient with. I don't think I saw anybody get it, but if you did get it, let me know. This started, I think, in 2007, so it's been around a long time. They started the uh, golf playoffs. And it is called the FedEx Cup. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But now, is that considered? But is that considered the cha- a championship? Because there's the PGA, cha- the PGA yeah, tournament. Yeah, the PGA, the PGA. It, yeah, the very last one 
is, I guess, the PGA Championship, but the whole playoffs is called the FedEx Cup. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the women's, I knew they had an equivalent women's one, but I had no clue what it was called and I had to look it up. Uh, (laughs) It's kind of an odd one. And I don't think anybody got this one as well, which is the race to the CME globe. What? what? I know, never, okay. <laughs> but it's the same as the equivalent. They have points and then they have the playoffs and then they have a bunch of tournaments where they go down inside. So it's done exactly education. the same way. Are you sure number five isn't just the sponsor of the FedEx Cup? Yeah, they are the sponsor, but that is the official name of the yeah, no, that's the playoffs. True, right. Give them that much money, you get to name it after you. Yeah. And then next year will be somebody else. But only the male one, apparently. The female one is, is, is sponsored by the CME Globe. We should have stayed with the original guest, the Bouncy Cups. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and I think everybody got the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. That was not yep. a problem. The good thing no one can get to you. Uh, Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley well, Did anyone it's the miss Stanley that Cup. It's not the Stanley Cup. Cup Stanley Cup. Stanley no, Cup. Stanley Cup is fine, and the, yeah. the but the whole tournament is called the Stanley Cup playoffs. So Stanley Lord Cup is fine. Stanley if Cup. you just said Stanley Cup, that's I'm fine with that. That's Lord Stanley Cup. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. All right. So the next one is the International Cricket Council, but according to uh, Wikipedia, Germany. it's called the World Cup, or oh. I think oh. Cup is fine as well. Oh. It's, it's the same as soccer. We they call it the same thing, or the FIFA. <laughs> We All just right. guessed on that one. Yeah, we said we got ICC that on the guess. Yeah, the, the ICC Cup. Yep. I think oh, that's okay. fine. Oh, ICC Cup is good? Yep. Yep. Oh, never heard that. That's that's what I've heard it referred to. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. And I just put I've never even there. heard of the international cricket. Is, no. is number three the Saunders Cup? It ah. should be. <laughs> Yeah. So international cricket is one of the biggest games on the planet. I mean, it, exactly. it's huge. Yeah. yeah. It's huge. It really is. It's huge. The, mm-hmm. the British Empire the, once the, ruled most of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No Star this one, Quest. I think everybody got this World Series. We're good with that one. And the last one, I don't think anybody got this one unless they guessed it. And I actually mm-hmm. did this as Erin who come who did the the MLS. She did the whole topic of this one mm-hmm. one time in trivia. Oops. so it is there's two names because they're in the process of changing it so i would accept either one which is just the cup the mls cup or the league's cup there's two names that they're going by darn we said saucer (laughs) (laughs) will you take saucer Mm. (laughs) would you you take chalice we did chalice Number eight, would you accept Jiminy? The holy grail. The pellet with the poison is in the chalice from the palace. Yeah. The flagon with the, the dragon with the the is true. <laughs> <laughs> this was a lot hard. This is hard. Well, it was impossible for me, but. And it was a different style for the final round, too. Yes. So yeah. A little. A little well, different than what we usually do. I was originally going to get people to list things and then it just got too complicated. So I just changed it up to make it yeah. a little more precise. This is, this is understandable. So well, it's, it's yeah, nice because there's, there should be a variety of scores. We always end up having it too easy at the last one. Yeah. And so scores don't change. Who knows? Yeah, yeah that's exactly I think everybody's exactly. got a five. <laughs> yeah, everyone said there's five really easy ones and then five hard ones. <laughs> But we'll find out right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Maple Bowl. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, here we go. So let's start with uh, res- resolution free 2022, who next year will be thinking that they need to make a resolution to do better than being last place. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's because Rachel and Jordan went to bed. They would have known all these answers. What did you guys get? Five. Five. Call and that one. So let's go with uh, mine's more expensive. Four. Five. And Hard Fortnite one. backup server disaster, which is Adrian's team. Come Five. On, team. <laughs> and yes, it's the trivia zone. Yes, seven. Oh, 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 it's Australian. He's, got, he's on the team. <laughs> You got the two Australian. Okay, ones. so does eleven. 
<laughs> Does the team go with one? What do you got? Seven. Seven. Oh. Hey. Look at that. They hit. That's one of the high scores. We rarely have anybody hit 40. That is really good, you guys. This was great. There was not Ooh, one doctor. There was not matter. one single Doctor Who question on any of these topics. Yeah. There was no sci-fi. Yes, there was. Isn't that great? That's terrible. Last place again. Woo! Nineteen. What was Susan? Your... Hey, Vincent, I've done that many times. <laughs> you're, so you're recording, Susan. Let's do. When is this going to go out on YouTube? If I'm up late enough Next tonight, year. tonight. Why? Okay. Uh, can I commandeer everybody to Night, play? Jane. Quick... Can quick I dice it? game for the skeptic zone. Oh yes, let's yes, do it. Course. All right, you're recording. Well, folks, it's the end of the show and it's the beginning of 2022. But as I record to you now, it's actually 2021. It's very confusing. Something to do with international datelines. I've given up a long time ago. I'm with the the. Uh, I'd normally like to say I'm with a great Australian psychic prediction crew, but that's a thing of the past mm. now. Yeah. I'm with Susan Gobex Trivia. Hello, everybody. Hi, hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hey. Oh. Hey. There's more of us than it sounds. There's a lot of people here, and it made it sound like we had six people here. You guys need to make more noise than that. Now, I'm just going to turn off my virtual background, which is space, because I'm quite interested in the James Webb uh, telescope going out at the moment. I'm holding up the die we're going to be using today. It's a die I picked up in New Mexico. It's aliens. Look at that. There's an alien. Spaceships. I see the five. And uh, yes, Susan sees the five. So it's a D6. Here we go. We're going to go roll it three times. Should we put it in the chat? You can put it in the chat if you like. Everybody, we hold the everybody <clears throat> chat yeah. in, in the text chat. In the text chat, put in your guess. We've got a three. Great. Two, two. Oh, oh, oh. Lots of numbers coming up. <laughs> as we Six. might expect, there are a lot of people playing. Okay. And Susan, I see yours as a five. Here it comes. The first roll for 2022 is... Oh. Yes, yes. by that much. One for one. Ooh, I'm Two like for it. One. Yep. All right. Got it. 2020 has not been my year. Rolled it incorrectly. Make, make a note of that. Four and Rolled guess again incorrectly. for the next one. Okay, make your guess, got, everybody, quick. So people. Five, five. People Two. are putting in their guesses. I'm so trying five again. It's going to have to. Two. 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 Here Ew. it comes. Here it comes. Oh, this is the. I'm holding this up. That's the. Yeah, hold it up. Greg Dre gave it to you. Greg Dre gave me this and can't see it. Ooh. Oh. Five. Nice. Uh, <laughs> is there a five? plus or minus? Do we have a plus or minus? No. <laughs> <laughs> plus or minus six. You see, Susan? It's five a five. It's a five, come. you guys. You don't know how hard I've been trying to get five by five. Last or one. 55 Let's have your guesses. Six, three, two, okay, four, your, six, one, your... five. Five. Lots of guesses. Come. Okay. Wow. Everyone's putting in their guess. Here it comes. One. And it is. Four again. Four again. Two for three. Oh. Yes. James, you got I it did twice. Two, two for three. So close, Susan. Well. Four, five, four. You just missed your five, five, five. Four, five, four. Five, four. Did somebody get all those right? Two. Two and three. Two of us got three. three. Oh, let's go oh, for the a bigger group that you have. You think about it. Oh. Put on a 30 die. Put on your put a 30 again? die. Should I, I can do that. I can reach back here. Give us a really shelf. good number. Ooh. All right, let's Ooh. have a look. Okay, D30. D30. Oh, no. Oh, D60. Oh, that's kind of sick making. That's too, that's too much. Uh, I've got a D20. How okay. about that? Okay, whatever you say. Oh, I got to change my guess. Everybody should pick 42. a different number. <laughs> Roll for saving throws. <laughs> All right. I for the supplementary, numbers are coming in 1915, 18. Wait, wait, what 11, number is it? One. It's a D20. Okay, so I'm going to say five. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I should have predicted that. I should have predicted. That. Okay, here it comes. And it is good grief. I'm not, no, no, wait. I'm. Hot. It came up that one. Four. 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 Again. Uh, again. <laughs> wow. Four, four, hey. four, five, four. I got four. three out of four. No Whoa! Way. Nice, Karen. Wow, Karen. Card. Let's go buy a lottery ticket. Karen needs to apply <laughs> for negative. the uh, I see uh, paranormal test. Oh, but man. I do this every time we do this game. I pick one number and I just do it for every roll. 
Well, Karen, that's, I've been that's, trying that's, to do that matter. for a year, so, two years, and it's not helping. So just, so Speaking that's, of the way, dice, that's the way we uh, answer all our questions. I found those unique dice that I was looking for that <laughs> I could not figure out. The ones that look kind of like a top, but have the numbers on the side. Um, I posted the link in the chat. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick share screen. Thank and you, you Richard. See it. Thank you, Richard. All right. Cool. And while we're doing that, uh, oh. I'd like to wish all our listeners, all my listeners, from all of us, a very happy 2022. Oh, happy you 2022. Too, Richard. 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. All right, happy New Year, everybody. Woo. New Year party. It'll be New Year bad. somewhere. Why are they $110? Because wow, they're made that. of solid aluminum. Okay. They're made out of unicorns. unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> sold out. So yeah, they're, they're, all sold out. they're very hard to get now. But, what? but yeah. Well, unicorn horn makes you virulent, right? I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, you know. It also sustains your life, too. How but does yeah, this work? Is there wow. any polish what cost? <laughs> Do you spin it like a top? Yeah, so you spin it like a top. And the interesting thing is that the way that it uh, the way that it actually rolls well, you're not you can spin it like a top. It's a little hard to do that. Really, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to toss it, and the the idea is that it kind of spins around in a circle because it's rotating around like a wheel, mm. um, and then it'll randomly stop on a number. And there you go. Um, but uh, for the ones that aren't the D twenty, um, I believe. Uh, each of them has multiple repetitions of the numbers, actually, in order to make sure that like ah. you get somewhat better sort of uh, randomization on it. So, but they're they're very cool. Um, it would work without that pointy thing too, though. Yeah, technically, but the pointy thing is more for style. Makes points. it makes it roll. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it easier to roll, and also so it doesn't land on one of the flat. Really, flags. really, people yeah. buy stuff like this. Yeah, seriously. Oh yeah. You know, it's just no, I mean, like level up dice. They're one hundred and ten dollars sold out. Jesus, I gotta oh, stop yeah. making this. Hi, no, all I right, mean, I'm gonna go to. Like, See you all next year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy no, New like, year. their original thing is like, is is semi precious dice. So like huh. amethyst. You can buy us dice. That's just Those dice are no good. They have rounded edges. Yeah. Well, they, you know, there are art pieces that are dice shaped. That's cool. Have that you seen the three sided side. coin? It's got a heads, tails, and a side. It's kind of cool. It's like a mm -hmm. thick coin that sometimes it oh, yeah. lands on its side. That. Yeah, where they precisely hear everybody's the thoughts for the day. Zen. What? Your Twilight Zone reference. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Oh, yeah. Kyle, Anything what were you thoughts? showing? You had one, Kyle? This is a game science dice that does, did not go through the rock tumbler. It has statistically accurate edges. <laughs> yeah, the problem with those is, one, they chip real fast. And well, number sure. two, like, the edges become rounded very quickly, and then it's no longer true. And then it, yeah. the, second, the second problem with game science dice is that they don't roll that well without the right rounded die. So when thrown by a human hand, they're not that random. You really need a, you really need a tumbler. <laughs> because, or I should say that normal, they're very easy to control Eight. how they roll. Yeah, that, that's okay, why that it could crafts, be. They Susan, make you that's because you've never wall. been killed by a bad roll. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> or or shot an arrow into your own foot. Yep. <laughs> Or your partners, you guys or you know, drowned because you've passed can pass your swim check. <laughs> yep. Well, I have to go too, guys. Good, Good night, night, Vincent. Everybody. Happy Hi, Vincent. New Year Happy in Vincent. Canada. I also have to Happy go. Night. What do you mean, Happy New Year, Year in Canada? No, <laughs> that's a thing. We're in Canada. So. <laughs> Doesn't they have a different calendar, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're all it's like twenty-three hours and time. fifteen minutes. Maple calendar. Maple calendar. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it All goes right. slower at Maple, yeah. I'm going to call it a night. Hi, it's a night. And thank you guys so much for being with us for 2020. Good to see you again, Jim. I have you missed you. Here. I love Jim, you all, but back. I love money more. Bye, so. okay. Jimmy. <laughs> who's up next week, Susan? More money, oh, more problems. I don't even oh, have yeah. yeah, who's up yeah. next week? Oh, geez. I got to get this. <laughs> I got Slim Dickens. Thank you for somebody put that down.
many people. Uh, I was going to do I a have... whole show one week. If you want me to do it next week, I can. That's going to be Bruce Springsteen and Billy Joel. Yeah, no, it go isn't. ahead, Kevin. I'm, I'm okay with that. that. You, you want me to do the whole week? Next week. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Okay. All Kevin. And everyone will have a theme. That's the only thing I'm going to Try to have at least one non, non-music round. <laughs> oh, no. There's only going to be one. No, only one music round. The one random state. Wait, wait. I have, you've already got this round? Else? Random state, like solid, liquid, gas, or plasma. Don't, or don't not say anything else. Oh, Einstein condensate. I like it. All right, Kevin, you're up. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys.